Okay, here we come. Woo! Yeah. Welcome to the Swirly Nerd Podcast, Episode 9. This is the state of the union of dress for video games. Me and Yuki is going to go into a nice, in-depth talk about the video game industry. Um, if you don't play video games, this is a good insight to see so you can get in video games. <laughs> um, and also, uh, if you are a gamer, and you're like, damn, I'm, I wish someone would say the shit, I'm trying to think, like, I'm ready to just for you. It. Straight up. So... Let's start off with. Oh, I just want to just vibe with it. This is uh, Funkadelic. Um, One Nation Under Groove. This is our uh, State of the Union song. Fuck that, that dun 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 dun. dun. Fuck all that white people bullshit. You need some black blood in this motherfucker. <laughs> but let's get this started. I love fun music. That's like the best type of fucking music, man. Yeah, just keep I mean, oh, man you can really understand, like, um, man, you gotta be a high motherfucker. Think some shit like this, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> like oh my god. You got you don't like fun with Delhi. What the fuck is wrong with you? Come on, man, this is a problem. What's wrong with you? And I'm talking about, yeah, you would listen to the original problem if one, two, two. The, the, group, the group and also these ones. Straight up. <laughs> All right, but yeah, where should we even begin with this state of the union? I think we should start um, off the front. Cultural gaming? No, I think we should start off with um, how much games cost. Let's get that because that's the first barrier you see when you start, you know, want to get into the hobby of video gaming is the price. And that sort of turns some people off. So yeah. let's start with the price. Um, Standard games cost what? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars with tax. Sixty five, depending on where you go. At sixty two, sixty three, some bullshit. Sixty five. <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's this new scheme that they're doing in games right now, where like if you want extra shit, you pay more. You know, maybe you want a special deli- edition of the game. Give, give sex a dub. Hey, Mike, got some DLC. Give me an extra another dub. You know, they try to sneak a little extra shit on there. Like micro transition bullshit. Uh, it, it's like um. But it's like triple A micro transaction bullshit. Uh, you know? Yeah. This ain't just petty, you know, give me a dollar, give me twenty, and I'm gonna give you something better, you know, <laughs> you type shit. I'm gonna give you, you know, a whole part of the game we could have gave you for free, you know. For hey, me. we sliced it off <laughs> for you. I mean some some companies do that shit. Some people plan to do DLC, but some people say that's just some bullshit for them like to get you up. Some get some companies really do like understand what DLC is, like, okay. Um, we got you the base game, but you know, we worked so hard on this fucking game. Now we have time to work on some extra shit, so we'll give you extra shit. You know, like Smash Brothers or any other fucking you know game you can think of. Um, I can't even think about it. You know, what like some fucking shooting game for the Call of Duty or some bullshit. You know, they can do that or something. But that's a real barrier for most motherfuckers. Like I don't play no fucking six dollars for a game. And then you got systems that cost what. From three hundred to fucking five hundred dollars, you know, type shit, and that's the entry level systems. Yeah, some systems though, you have to upgrade. Like, yeah, that's what they're doing now. They're trying to do these mid grade bullshit, like the PlayStation Pro or like that Xbox. What what was it? Scorpion? No, it's not not called Scorpion. No, that was the code name. Oh, it's uh, what the fuck do they call it now? Uh, Xbox One X. Yeah, that's (laughs) what they. That's the you. You will understand a group of fucking. More probably white people and some Indians. <laughs> Cause, cause, because 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 gaming is a multicultural type of thing. There ain't a lot of niggas in fucking gaming, but it's like a real multicultural 
motherfuckers in the game and type shit. And most of the companies span across the world type shit. But like you imagine people marketing, like what are we gonna call this this next step? This is gonna be the best because they even came out and said this this is the better better best console out right now. Like it's better than the PS4 Pro, and it is the Xbox One X. It is. But you imagine motherfuckers sitting around in the damn boardroom meeting. Okay, what can we call this shit? We already called our shirt shit Xbox One. <laughs> that was already some dumb shit because what is the Xbox One? Well, what that means? The original Xbox. What is the original? Now we just gonna call Xbox the OG Xbox. You gonna call that now? That that's ridiculous. Like, what the fuck's wrong with them? Oh my god! But Xbox One X. What the fuck? It's, it's an X. You know, that's some 90 shit X. We're gonna put everything X in it. You know, that's some fucking old school 90s video game bullshit. Let's put an X in it. I'm gonna put a Z, you know. That really gets people. <laughs> put an R. R really gets people. Like, what the fuck's wrong with fucking people? But, yeah, that's usually the barrier. But, um, if you can get past that, because, you know, it was the notorious PlayStation moment when they came out and said, you know, um, you're gonna have to get a second job if you want this goddamn set system. Everybody, like, what the fuck? She was six hundred goddamn dollars. And no one's never charged that much for a goddamn system ever. I don't think I ever did it again. <laughs> I think, I think the Xbox One X is like five hundred dollars. In fact, I got a phone in my goddamn hand. I can look up. Um, well, they probably can give me the fucking discount prices and shit. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, yeah, all the motherfuckers, you know. Cost a two fuck goddamn much, and it's always at the beginning of a, any any game console you buy. The beginning life of it is user shit. No one really drops dope ass games at the beginning because it's a new system. Motherfuckers, you know, still working on games for it later on in the system's life cycle because, like, that's what games go through life cycles is generations of video gaming. Um, like, we're in what the eighth, I think, ninth generation of gaming. Look this up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm failing. Um, <laughs> uh, the game generation. I'm really, uh, saying my uh, Google search, <laughs> but uh, uh, here we go. Oh, man, it's right there, and I fucked up and then click it. Um, yeah, that's right. We're in eighth. Now say eighth. The price is seven. But yeah, we're in eighth. You know, come on. Yeah, eighth. Eighth. Really, they they count the video game crash as a generation. Yeah, that's why they. That's why the third generation, I think. Uh, yeah, third. It's third generation. Uh, the video game crash in nineteen eighty three is when gaming first fucking like was like. Always saturated. Always saturated. They games. made fucking games for every fucking thing you can think of. They made a fucking ET game, Indian Jones game, Star Wars, any everything you can think of. A Mary Poppins game, fucking uh, Popeye, <laughs> Popeye the Sailor Man game. Like, like it was so many games. It's like no one's buying that shit. You're making too goddamn many, and you just oversaturate the market. You fuck up everything, and it fucking crashed the whole fucking give you the game industry. And who came in out of nowhere was fucking Nintendo, who saved every fucking body. Because when people want, you know, we'll get into it later, but people want to, like, knock Nintendo. But Nintendo did sort of like, that is gaming. It, it, no one gives a fuck about Atari 2600 or Commodore 2064. Uh, no one gives a fuck about none of those bullshit games with the 70s and 80s. <laughs> like, no one gives one a fuck button. about that. No one gives a fuck about Too those. Bad. Those stupid PC games you rave about. Those games are dumb too. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I'll give you one point for a fucking Oregon Trail. If <laughs> only I get PC for for like, oh, that's a cool game from back in the day. But overall, most of those games are shit, man. Don't ever let nobody trick you. Those are games you see when you're in the dollar store and it's like plug and play. Those are those fucking games mostly. <laughs> those fucking Commodore 64 ass games. Unless it's like a Sega, Sega collection because you have those ones. Forty dollars or some shit, but um, hell yeah, what the fuck? Like get out of here with that shit. But yeah, that's the price though. Uh, when this testing, these systems came out, well, it was mostly what four hundred bucks. It was pretty goddamn cheap. The early fucking systems. This is not a great list at fuck all. <laughs> So I guess we can go to the next uh, thing. The next one is 
Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a thousand things up. Like, no bullshit. Um, I mean, ben also has a list. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> he said, no, no. Oh, wait, like a personal list? No, you got the list I sent you. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The, the uh, gaming culture, like you said earlier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the gaming culture. Um, well, these motherfuckers. That's another entry if you do get into gaming. You might be like, oh man, I love this game. I'm going to go on the internet and talk to other motherfuckers about the game. All right, I'm going to tell you right now. Half these motherfuckers are hating motherfuckers. <laughs> these these might be not even, not the worst, but like some of these video game motherfuckers. It is like subsex too because you got people who like only like fighting games and RPG games. You got certain people who only like, you know, you know, it's a console war bullshit people are all into. It's it's hella levels of like being a gamer if you want to be in the culture of gaming. Um, you know, people are always trying to test your gaming uh, prowess. <laughs> you know, like Jesus Christ. You know how like 3 to 16 are a real gamer? You know? You know, for real. What the fuck? But um, I don't. I don't really communicate with motherfuckers on like online about gaming shit for real. Me, I, I mostly just read what people say type shit. <laughs> I don't like it's mostly one. ego dri- ego driven. Yeah, people know it all, and then people lead to like because like threads, so it leads you to like trolling to a point. Like yeah, <laughs> so you heard good conversation, then one person says some dumb shit, and then everybody leads it to start saying more dumb shit. I'm like, okay, well this is just dumb. It's arguing back and forth on some bullshit. You know, um, I mean, people say is that's most toxic fucking sect of like nerdom is gaming. I don't think so. I don't think video game is. Um, it just you know, like most nerd culture, you like nostalgia. You know, you don't want to mess with your baby. Um, I just think video game is a medium as a whole is completely different from anything else because like you have to you actually got to interact with the shit. Like, um, we play video games for a challenge, yeah. and that's what gaming all is all about. Is about you want to challenge. challenge. So. Like, no, no other type of medium. When I say medium, I mean like TV, books, whatever. Like, nothing else hits you back. Like, you ain't reading the book, and then the book smacking. Like, no, you can't read chapter two until you fucking, <laughs> you know, complete chapter one fully. <laughs> you know, like, ain't no movie saying. Err! Now, go outside, run five laps, you know, <laughs> nothing's like, that's what's so different about video gaming, and that's why I love gaming, because, like, someone created this challenge for you to complete, and most people stunt and say they beat it, but never beat it. Some, some people, I truly believe, hate video games, and I don't even know why they play fucking video games, it's just... They want to be a part of the conversation. I really think some people like, oh, I fucking hate fucking video game. Like, like really? Like, like you, can you praise something great about it, nigga? <laughs> you don't love nothing about the game? Like, goddamn. Now I was late. It was um, only 20 hours long. I'm like, well, nigga, if you did some research, you would have knew. Like, that's another thing about like, gaming culture. People don't do research. People just want to shit on shit just to be shit on shit. He's be fucking me up sometimes. Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Like, actually, how about wait? Listen, listen <laughs> to see what happens. Like the whole um, Rockstar shit with the 100 Day shit. Shit was a misquote, but the game in it, you know, media industry ran with the shit. Talking about, oh, they working people 100 hours. We should not be playing this game. People were <laughs> crunching. And then they're like, no, we, they misquote. Like, the writers of the game, we. We like actually we like are like the founders of the because the founders of the Rockstar yeah. write these games so like we wrote this game yeah we did on our house because we writers nigga what the fuck what the fuck are you talking about and who actually is working a hundred fucking hour work that's goddamn insane if anybody working a hundred hour work with this fucking ridiculous and you really think a nine to five job like working nine to five will get a fucking game like Red Dead Redemption out too like you you really you know hard work is a thing. Yeah, like you it know. take years to make high quality products. You know, if you play Red Dead Redemption Two, you'd be like, "Oh shit, okay, I see why." Uh, the good hundred hour work weeks. <laughs> yeah, you know, shit. The fuck, get the fuck out of here. But still, ain't nobody working no goddamn hundred hour fucking work. What type of shit is that? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. They be crunching though. They have to be forced to. Hey, they knew what the fuck job they was getting into. What the fuck y'all talking about? You, it's this thing like this liberal media bullshit is also within like 
the gaming culture like because like well who runs everything is mostly like um IGN GameSpot um what's the other one Kotaku mm -hmm. um what's another one uh it's one more but uh it's basically those major three like mainstream like that's where you get your gaming news from if you don't no, no better type shit. Don't know the smaller guys who so got actually because got this knowledge. niggas on YouTube who be slaying information. You be like, God damn, how the fuck? <laughs> be straight killing shit. Um, and it's all about making connections. And even like the gaming industry is starting to realize, like, shit, why are we giving these games to these media motherfuckers? We can get these. They be giving games to, to you, little YouTubers with like thousand subscribers type shit. Like, hey. You better you you got more pull than these IGN motherfuckers because y'all questionable now because we got they had they have some of the dumbest people who fucking in these industries I'm telling you I I I listen to them I'll, no bullshit I listen to IGN podcasts games by God podcasts I sometimes in Kotaku I don't like Kotaku like that they be on some fucking they they, they make articles like um like clickbait bullshit not even clickbait they they ask dumb questions like um why don't this game let you play as a trans like what the Maybe. fuck like, get the fuck out of here with this shit. <laughs> okay, who cares? <laughs> but, um, these motherfuckers, um, like right now, what's going on with uh, IGN GameSpot? They're losing all their vets. The people who, like, like me and you, who probably played a fucking Game Boy. Yeah. Most of the people who own those, like, sites now, nigga, their first console was an Xbox. Xbox came out, what, 2001? <laughs> And that's and that's a new blood. Yeah, that's new blood. <laughs> Tell you what gaming what gaming industry is like. I'm air quoting shit like gaming industry is. Like, kid, like, your first system was like Xbox. Fuck out of here. Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that might sound some fucking um, ages bullshit, but no, that's bullshit. You, you how, how the fuck are you gonna tell anybody about some gaming? Your ass never played a virtual Game Boy. Yeah, you can play it now, but you ain't gonna never get it. <laughs> like and reason why people most jump and shit because they see YouTube is more viable. They brought a brand to themselves by being on IGN or GameSpot. And they're like, hey, back to my name I'm actually worth some shit. I can use my name to get a channel and kill shit. Like that's what's going on right now. Like they're losing their bets and like all they have is these new motherfuckers. They actually slipping hard. No one's actually even fucking with IGN or GameSpot for real. No one's fucking with their reviews. Um, I think IGN just started saying they're gonna take away numbers so they can just. Cause people give a fuck numbers. Niggas is number or that's another thing I like about uh, the gaming culture. People give a fuck about numbers. Like, oh, this game only got a seven point five. Like, nigga, play that seven point five. That should probably hard. <laughs> that should probably <laughs> a really cool game. Like, fuck, what they talking about, man? So have these fucking gaming people don't be games, and they be saying the shit in podcasts. See, because the niggas don't listen to podcasts. Most people just you know see their little YouTube shit, but motherfuckers be talking enough. They fuck themselves. <laughs> Like man, snitch on themselves. Motherfuckers be saying, even these YouTubers too. Some of these YouTubers too. They like man, like what's the game? Uh, like Persona Five. They like play. I probably did the first five hours. I get the game. I'm like actually no, you don't get the game. Oh, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You know, I don't have to play that entire. I don't have to see the ending of the game to to review it. What the fuck, nigga? Are you are you getting paid for that though? <laughs> People look up then to YouTube. People like, I guess people fucking because of that shit. But that's lame as fuck for me personally. I don't think that's cool as fuck. If you can just sit there, I'm talking like triple A games. What the fuck you playing like a, a Super Nintendo game from back in the day? You don't beat it. Who gives a fuck? No, no one gives a fuck. Those games weren't even designed for you to beat for real. Those <laughs> old ass games. I mean, for real. That's why no one plays those fucking old games like the Super Nintendo. Not Super Nintendo, but the NES. Yeah. All those bullshit games that they, they they were designed because so you can play it longer type shit. But these games, I'm like, come on, man. You yelling me, your job is to play a video game. You can't beat a 20-hour video game. I'm like, come on. Get the fuck out of here. You got time, nigga. Tell your boss, hey, let me fucking leave work early so I can play, you know, five hours of shit. Some of you motherfuckers play the games at work. Like, what the fuck? Like, this, this is fucking me up when people be saying shit like that. Like, you don't have to beat the game to know what you're talking about. Like, no, actually you do. For AAA games, I'm not saying all the bullshit. I understand that shit. But... These IGN motherfuckers, games by motherfuckers, and shit like that. I remember one time on IGN, this one girl, I might even call her out because it might be a toy, you never know. Um, because this girl straight get, get a, a, a knock point, like, not a knock a point, but like, gave a little just like, like, something I didn't like about the game. 
was a Pokemon game. She said because it had too much water. <laughs> Bitch, what? No bullshit. No fucking bullshit. I'm like, for a Pokemon game? Where yeah. you... The one of the main things of Pokemon where you yeah, you surf to get to one. Said too much water. What's it? What's on that? What what Pokemon game was? I it? just I was like, I'm gonna look that shit up. But uh, you uh, uh, tell me some shit you on about the gaming culture. I don't like about the game culture is is the elitists who be like, oh, you playing a game wrong? You supposed to play this play game this way. It's like this. But I just said that. You thought shots at me. That's what I said. Go ahead, Actually, I go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, nigga. It's your opinion, nigga. Like, some people think he play, say, fighting room or something the way, you're not playing it right. Like, if he uses weak characters or characters ain't popular, that's the wrong way to play a game. But it's like this. People play games to how they, to their own play style. People play games to enjoy themselves. Like, why does it matter if somebody plays a game that's not your way? Okay, it was uh, Omega Ruby and Sapphire. It's cited as one of the drawbacks of the gameplay experience. Um, Okay, I I can read the review. Um, Origin. Uh, it was November 18, 2014. IGN published its review of Pokemon, um, you know, the game, for the Nintendo 3DS for IGN, which praised the title's gorgeous CG details and post-game Easter eggs, while listing the overabundance of HM's hidden machines um, and water and water as its cons. The game received a 7.8 out of 10, given the, gra- the geographical setting of Mega Ruby and Sapphire in Hoenn, a fictional region consisting of many islands. Um, I play Ruby and Sapphire. I love those games. But the game is fucking awesome. Uh, I played it on the Game Boy Advance. Mm-hmm. Um, the review com- commentary on, on there on. being too much water it instantly became a point of content among the IG members and the fans of the game at large. He says, spread within 24 hours, the publication was met with more than 5,000 comments, majority of which raised issues with the too much water remark. Yeah, that's just bullshit. And they didn't say the girl name, but I know who it was. <laughs> But, uh, too much water in a poem in a game where you're surrounded by islands. Too much water. That was a knock. But that's also how I felt about uh, this one girl. Uh, I didn't. I, I think it was some low key fuck shit that she pulled. But um, I y'all been listening for a minute. Y'all hear my passionate voice out of Persona Five. So this girl, um, she's a trans. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. But the <laughs> fluid, whatever Tumblr genders are making people on Tumblr making up now by genders. Whatever, um, like she messed with uh, damn. If I say his name, shit, everybody gonna know. Him, so she messed with the other guy who notorious on YouTube who talk shit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, he gave birth of a while at seven point eight. Now everybody know what I'm talking about. They gave birth of a while seven point five. <laughs> so. He didn't feel like reviewing Persona 5, so he let her do it. He was going to put it on his website. <laughs> so she, I guess she wanted to throw jabs back at uh, the guy who made the 7.5 um, Breath of the Wild. It's uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's on the Nintendo Switch. Um, people love that fucking game, man. That game is not as fucking good as people think it is. I swear to God. But I'll get back to that. But. So she got the, you know, honestly, so she she basically reviewing under his fucking shit. Everybody knows that she's gonna say, blah, 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 blah. Um, she knocked Persona 5, gave it a 7.5. That's the lowest, lowest they ever did. Not, not 7.5, she gave it 8.5 or some shit. Um, I think it was 8.5. She gave it 8.5. No one gave it 8.5. Everybody gave it like 9s, 10s. Like, Persona 5 was fucking flawless, dog. Like, terrible. Tell me why would you literally, you can get into a battle, press literally the button, and it's like, bam, 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 Two buttons, like you, if you free, if you just hold what R one, you go in automatically hit like what weakness it is, and you just hit that button and boom. Like you can beat a literally, you can literally kill someone in thirty seconds. That's how fast, like, and it's all smooth, slick menus, and, man, and beautiful music, nigga. They perfected what a fucking turn-based RPG is. <laughs> they for real. They made it so smooth and slick, it was ridiculous. 
But bitch gave it eight point five because it wasn't all motherfucking um, <laughs> horrible. Horrible. <laughs> Dude, and I read that shit. I'm like, yeah, because and this is her excuse. Yeah, because all the Persona games I played uh, was all portable. I played Persona um, uh, uh, three portable. I'm like, but that was a PS2 game. You know that. I'm like, and I played Persona four Go, and that was portable. But uh, you know that was on PS2 though. Like, would you expect like? Come on now, you gonna knock the game because of that though? Like it's bullshit. And it said it was too long. I'm like, like it's a persona. It's an Athens game. game. Athens game so long. Like, but then I think that was a low key undercut. I, I to this day I still feel like she did that shit just because because she was pissed at the dude who did the seven point five. Like, yeah. why you gonna give it seven point five? Come on, man, it's not that bad. But so she was trying to be petty. He he was being petty though too. He didn't have to get that shit on goddamn seven point five. He just wanted to get some fucking. Let's talk real shit about um, fucking Jim Sterling. I'm gonna say his name because for real, right. he's just trying to get some pulls. But come on, man, you ain't paying him up for no seven point five. Not saying, oh man, the game is ten out of ten. I'm saying like the nigga gave us seven point five so people can talk. And let me know, Jim Sterling is gay, and not to be uh, fucking you know homophobic or anti-gay or some shit like that. But gay people do like attention. Yeah, they do. <laughs> um, perfect example. <laughs> we gonna talk about that later, though. <laughs> we talk about that later, but I'm not saying all this whole show. Or we, I know some, but not all. Some, but not all. Everybody, we're not talking about all gay people. But come on now, it is low key stereotype. <laughs> but anyway, and he did that shit. Just so he could get, you know, clicks. He would DBO attack his fucking website. Did all that shit because people was pissed. But that's more of what's wrong with Because we're still in gaming culture. We ain't even deep in it. Um, that's wrong gaming culture with Nintendo. And these fan, Nintendo fanboys, these motherfuckers, boy, they fucking rabbits. They don't play. Like, and that's what most of these uh, mainstream media people are. IGN, um, Case Black Otaku, like... Like I said, Nintendo sort of made game what it is today, yeah. so they grew up with it, so they got the nostalgia for it. It's a sort of thing people say in the gaming culture, like um, they always gotta get the Nintendo bump, you know? If, the, if it's a 7.5 game, we gonna give it 8.5, you know? <laughs> so, Breath of the Wild was not that great, though. I'm telling you right now. It is a, it, no bullshit, it is a beautiful game, great music. Um, I love Zelda. Zelda's my like number two favorite franchise and video of like video game of all time. I love Zelda. I love the shit out of it. But man, you only did two things in that game. You collect some fucking seeds that eventually find out when you, you collect all oh, 999 of them that you've been collecting shit. And they give you a big piece of shit for reward. <laughs> Literally it's a golden shit. He tell you like, oh you've been collecting like an art dumb. <laughs> okay. But you, you use the dung to upgrade your health um, or the hearts. But um, still, what the fuck? And then you play these mini bullshit games. Um, and that bullshit games like mini puzzles. You use all the mechanics in the game. Um, they're always blue. <laughs> um, that was alright. But like overall, that's all you did. And you run around, you collect shit, make food. I mean, it was a world full of nothing. I guess that's how it's supposed to felt. The ambiance being alone by yourself. But it's like, come on, man. Y'all could have had some fucking dungeons and things to do in the motherfucker. Come on now. God damn, yeah. Yeah, I could have met some villagers here and there. You know. But it is like a one town. I don't think there's a bunch of villagers for us. It is one town. Um, and the music is beautiful. Like, right now, I'm talking about it. I'm, I'm, I'm humming the music in my head. The music is great. But um, it's not no fucking. They gave that Nintendo bump, man. This is a like I said before, how the first games of a console uh, usually suck. But yeah, those that's the first. That was literally the first game they released for the Switch was the Breath of the Wild, and it's for real. For it's a Wii U game, and they never made it like they ported to the Switch. It was on Wii U and Switch, but they made it for Wii. That's why the the, inter, the user interface looks like a goddamn Wii U fucking gamepad. That's why he his, he's holding a fucking game pad, nigga. They try to slide in the pad shit there because they're like, we love the pad shit. You know, we don't want to take away the pad, you know, from the Wii U. We don't want to take away the pad shit. That, that's something. Let's just keep the pad shit. <laughs> um, but no, no, that shit whack. No, 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 I love Zelda Brother Walker. It is good though, but it is a, what? 
8.5 game. No, it's a 6.5 game to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 8.5 game. I never played but, that. Um, but the Nintendo fanboys are ravenous, man. They don't play that shit. They don't play you knocking <laughs> any of that shit. Um, but yeah, that's just crazy to me. I like Jesus Christ. Um, Sony people, I mean, they, I don't know. I'm a Sony guy. I don't know. I'm going to get into that. I guess we should get into it now. All right. We're going to go into um, the next part. Um, for people who don't play, like, you know, video games and, you know, bullshit. Um, fucking too much water. Don't that <laughs> shit. I, I just had that page of too much water. Like, like you know you won't catch hell off that shit. Even if you even try and talk shit. Um, it's trying too hard to say something bad about the game. It's trying it's too hard. Too fucking hard. Fuck me. Just to say you're going to review it. It's going to mean I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm being analyzing it. Like, what? No, it don't make no. any fucking sense. Um, so if you make it through that next barrier, if you make it through the, the paying all this money, dealing with a fucked up culture of gamers. <laughs> Cause if you ain't been there since day one, they will check you. Like, hey, when you, when, 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 you see how we just acted? You see how we just talked shit about gamers and wanted to get in? We just shitted on some youngins who just started an Xbox. You see how? You see how toxic it is? What you actually said? But no, that, no, that is bullshit though. If you're working for a gaming company that's all about reviewing games, talking about games, and your first system is the Xbox, I'm sorry, like. No. No. Shut the fuck up. No, I ain't riding with that. I'm sorry. I don't give a give fuck. it give give you are like turn your turn. It's, it's literally hundreds of thousands of game is of gamers our age that you know see they don't pay them nigga shit. That before I get to the next thing, they don't pay these game reviewer motherfuckers nothing, man. Man, I'm telling you, I listen to a podcast on IGN, it's this one dude where everybody lived dead. Everybody lived in their house, like like, hey, welcome to the IGN family. Yeah, he's standing by. Like, he got like five IGN workers <laughs> with his fiance. Yeah. They're like, damn, nigga, you just look niggas living with you because it's so expensive. Because oh, all yeah, this game, is, all this gaming shit is all in California. Most stu- like studios are in California. Like I said, it is worldwide, but it's a lot of studios in California. Um, and that's where most IGN game spot in um, Kotaku is at. Is in you know LA. Go, Kotaku. I'm not Kotaku. But um, I know IGN and Gates, well, is their main hub is California. Um, but they don't pay them nigga shit. And I see what it makes me quit. No, like, they ain't pay me shit. You want me to preview fucking um, a piece of shit uh, RPG that no one gives a fuck about that's 100 hours long and got a beat of shit. <laughs> that's why that one IGN dude got caught. A copy and do review, remember that? Yeah. And he copied them shit because he's, he's so tired out. Like, that's what I mean. These people are tired. That's what people are. That's why I don't give a fuck about numbers and reviews from these sites. Because, like, these niggas are over fucking worked and they don't really give a fuck. <laughs> like, hey, man, I don't, I don't trust you, nigga. You ain't play this game for real. real. A real gamer, real gaming experience is you playing it throughout the weeks, months, whatever. You don't, I'm gonna beat it 20 hour game this weekend. Like, who you cannot? Who? First off, you can, but that's bullshit. Who does that? You don't have no life, nigga? Did you call work with this bullshit? <laughs> they don't do that shit, nigga. Play it at intervals, dude. Like, I understand life hard and you gotta take time out to do the shit, but I, I would recommend trying to play it in intervals, man. Play it, you know. Oh, I would dedicate, you know, five hours this weekend to play it, and then I'll play another five hours next weekend or some shit. Just fucking these motherfuckers. And don't just beat the game. Do the extra shit. I mean, that's how I am. I mean, no, I mean, don't like playing extra bullshit, but I, I'm a type of OC video game player where I'm like, I'm checking back. I'm, I'm trying to find everything in this goddamn thing. You know, I'm searching everything before I leave out this room. Like, I want to check everything off. I want to find all the fucking collectible bullshit if it's reasonable, you know? Because <laughs> I need motherfuckers back. I think I fuck you. Um, yeah. But yeah, make it through the money. Spend all this money and make it to this culture. Um, I said toxic, but it's not toxic. It's just, I'm like I said, elitist, motherfucking snooty people, you know, that's what it is. Um, the next one is uh, what type of game should you play? Um, we got what? Let's start off with my favorite genre RPGs, um, role playing games. There's different types of role playing games. You got the Echo, turn based. Yep. Life, I like that shit. Um, Real time action. Time time action. No, real time. Real real time action. Yeah, yeah. real time action. Um you should probably give an examples. Real time action. Real time action is um basically like Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. 
Turn based is more like Pokemon. Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy. Um, what was the other one you said? Tactical? Tactical. Uh, what? Lunar. Lunar. Yeah, Lunar series. Um, Fire Emblem. Uh, Fire Emblem. Breaker. Okay, Breaker that, that's a good example. Um, what's the other one? Uh, 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 something Saga. As a turn. Tear Saga. Turin Saga? No, it's a tactical one. Turin yeah. Saga. Dead, dead Saga. Dead, dead, some, some Dead Saga. Some boys. Um, uh, some shit I can't remember it's fucking when you stack like five characters and talk to each other some shit <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ y'all ridiculous um, what have you got you got MMO RPGs you got the it's massively massively multiplayer online role playing so games World of Warcraft yeah but nine days it's fucking everything now fucking yeah. Destiny fucking Call of Duty cause well not Call of Duty but like Destiny you know cause it's, that's a world that you live in that you gotta go in every day to get login bonuses <laughs> that's that what that is um, um but I don't like that shit I just like traditional RPGs I don't like MMOs um I'm, I, I just got into tactical a few years back um my first tactical game I played I just found out I, I was confused I breath of fire and fire I'm gonna play fire emblem I played um advanced wars um uh, those are on the Game Boy Advance I love those games um all these games we're mentioning be in the description below. No bullshit. So if you like to geek out all of them games, well, there you go. Um, but yeah, I played those, and um, I haven't played those in a long time. And I, the most like recent recent one I played was a uh, was a uh, Shin Megami Tensei uh, Overclocked. It was on a 3DS. Uh, that was fun as fuck. I love that game. Um, what I like about RPGs is. Um, like I said, like I said, I'm an OCD, like, playing video game motherfucker. That's the perfect game to play if you want to, like, grind. I love grinding in RPGs. A lot of people don't like grinding, but this is how I grind in video games. Um, uh, for, like, RPGs. Say you're in the first world, it's like a rat or some shit, and the rat, you can level up every time you kill the rat every, like, what? Every time you hit one. But eventually you won't be leveling up off that rat anymore. Like, you won't, like, you keep killing that rat, you'll get one XP. Kind of like Paper Mario. Uh, yes, yeah, you, know, you know, this bait is every RPG though. Like the first where you go to, you got a couple of monsters you can kill over and over and over and over and over. But eventually, those monsters ain't gonna be strong enough for you to level up. You got to kill like six of them before you level up instead of killing just one. You know what I mean? That's what I do in the first like world or any type of RPG. I would sit there and like literally kill a lot of the same shit over and over, <laughs> or you know, roam around and kill the same shit. You know, I'm looking for treasure chest or whatever. And to a point where I'm like, okay, I can't level. I'm like, I'm level six. And the first level, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go no further. So I just go to the next area where it's stronger people and the rinse and repeat type shit. That's how I play shit. Or I'll go back later on in the game and, you know, search around when I got better moves or some shit. But yeah, I like turn based. Um, you yeah, like RPGs. You see, I just praise Persona 5, how they perfected the fucking, you know, turn based shit. Um, that is for real. They perfected that shit, nigga. Like, goddamn. Like, I don't know who else can do that shit. I played Kingdom Hearts. I remember talk about that. Those are cool ass RPGs. Those are more like action RPGs, you know. Like I said, uh, what the fuck did you say? Um, I forgot. Um, I forgot what it's called. But, you know what I mean. I like those. But it's some games that, that you can move around and kill, like, monsters and shit. I don't like, like, uh, uh, what was it fucking called? Um... Uh, White Knight Chronicles, like games like that. I'm like, oh fuck. Like, does you call games? No, White Knight Chronicles uh, is a PS3 game. It's from level five. Um, it's basically it's like a Tales game. You gotta hit something, and the meter loads up, and you gotta hit, hit it again. I don't yeah, like that. Yeah, you can move around. I don't like that dumb yeah, shit. That shit, that dumb. shit. Um, I mean, it was cool for like Nino Kuni, but mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, man, I ain't got all that shit. I don't like that shit. It's dumb. I don't got time. I can move around, but I can't hit nobody. Like that's just dumb as shit. Like, uh, I mean, you can you get stronger. You can the meter goes fast, and you don't have to wait so long. But I'm like, I don't got time for that. Man. That's bullshit. But um, but yeah, I like those. Type. What about you? With the RPG type genre. I like, of course, Fire Emblem, mm-hmm. Paper Mario, old school fun of fantasy, mm-hmm. and that's what the uh, RPGs I play for real. Mm-hmm. We play RPG so much. Mm-hmm. I did play Fantasy Star 2 for a little bit a couple years ago, but I didn't finish it. Huh? You know, like, so. I'll say, like, my favorite ones. 
it's like fire emo. This attack is a tactical RPG where you have a select set of units to go out, conquer maps, castles. It's like squad based. Ah, uh, no, like each it's not like a fast war. It's like a squad based. It's like you know you can control each character. Oh, okay. Yeah, so each character got their own stats, weapons, mm-hmm. and you go against each enemy unit until there's none left, mm-hmm. and you go to the next chapter. Now, I say my favorite fighting game of all time is uh, the fourth one, Genealogy of the Holy War. Oh, uh, Genealogy of the Holy War. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He brought it up in our previous episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this game, like I said in the previous episode, it's, it's a game where it takes like it spans for twenty years. There's two in the game, like chopping two halves. The first half is uh, the first situation where you play a sugar and he's trying to go around selling, selling different beasts around different countries. When you find out that um, these Countries has been in the background. Somebody's doing some fuck shit to control the nation, or the country, the nations. You find out, you know, who's behind it, and after you find out who's behind it, you go play the second generation, which is second generation. It's all the kids from the parents of the first generation. They solve all the bullshit they have that should have been solved in the first generation. I sound up. Huh? So that sound dope. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next uh, like type of uh, gaming uh, thing you can play. Uh, they got FPSs, uh, known as first-person shooters. Um, uh, I'm not really a I, shooter guy. Yeah, that bro, culture bullshit. Um, yeah, it, it does. That is sort of like you know we'll get to the origin of Xbox a little bit, but. But yeah, um, I really do first person for real. I mean, I mostly play like uh, like Killzone on like PlayStation or like I play Call of Duty, like the original Call of Duty. Yeah, I play that too. Sorry, the first um, it's like that the, before with like the Call of Duty thing. Now I'm talking like the Call of Duty when like you know they had you know cutscenes and people now you know like well like Medal like, like Medal of Honor type shit, yeah. games like that. You know, on the PS2 basically the PS2 era of Call of Duty. I played those. Um, um, I really don't like what Call of Duty is now, man. It's just too focused on online. And I'm not an online video game player. Um, that's uh, another side to like uh, another thing to playing you know, video games. Um, it's all online, online components, and I'm not an online nigga. What about you? Uh, the only time I go online is fighting games. Well, mm-hmm. other than that, I'm not online no, like that. Um, what about you in first person shooters? No, I play first person shooters. Uh-huh. The last first person shooter I played on mine was fucking T Forces Two. Mm-hmm. And yeah, we played the classic. We don't need this fucking name. I'll be fucking game on our belt because we're going. We know we're gonna probably listen to some gaming nerd. He they ain't mentioning this. This is a good girl. For we played GoldenEye, shit like that when we was kids. Goddamn, we don't need to name every goddamn right. game we played. Fuck. We we got we are, I'm I'm 29 years old. Just understand that. So I've, yes, I've played 64. I played the uh, fucking what Super Nintendo, NES, get all the goddamn Nintendo handheld consoles, um, Xbox, Xbox fucking. That's all. I ain't played on 360. I played I played all the Playstations. Um, I never played. Uh, I played it. Yeah, I played all the. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played all the fucking Wii's except Wii U. Shit, all Nintendo bullshit. So. Yes, my prowess is good. Now, PC is not my genre, so I'm going to about it. But, but uh, to continue, um, what's the next genre? Uh, third person shooters. Um, third person shooters. Uh, that's my shit. Yeah, I, I like third person shooters. I, I like uh, third person games in general. I like third person games. Third person games is mostly um, you can actually see the character yeah. instead of first person where you're just looking through like their eyes or some shit. Um, third person is great. That's what like Sony's killing it right now. They, Third person like video games. Um, those are just cool. Like Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, Even though Grand Theft Auto just added, you know, first person mode for GTA 5. Yeah, uh, near. Oh, oh no, I know. Near Automata? Yeah. Yeah, I want to play that so bad. Actually, I'm not bullshitting there. I, I'm, you know, I, I got a lot of big back catalog of games. That's the, another thing to like uh, playing video games. You want to have a back catalog. <laughs> You're not going to get to everything. You're not. You're not. 
and don't expect to and don't try to chase this I need to be part of the thing because y'all ask me dumping literal hundreds we told you how much games and shit cost you were dropping hundreds of hundreds of dollars trying to catch China thousands you just wait I'm telling you just pick the games that you want to play <laughs> pick one at a time I'm telling pick you one time. don't buy everything I'm telling you don't let these commercials fool you because half of them fucking with you <laughs> Half these games ain't worth buying. I'm telling you, some of them might be needed. If you would have waited a month or two, the full game would have been released. You know, for real. But um, but yeah, third person games I love, um, like Uncharted and man, you 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 heard how we describe it. So you, if you look up any fucking game and you see the person, you see the character, that's a third person game right there. Boom. Unless it's like a um, what is a, a tabletop. Like a dungeon crawler type of like Diablo esque. Yeah, that's more of what. That's like RPG. Like it's an RPG it's not like real time. It's, it's RPG real time, yeah. but I'm talking about like the viewpoint type shit. I guess it's tabletop type shit, mm-hmm. angle type shit. But um, be yeah, I love third person games. That's the most games I've been playing lately. Is third person games. Um, I guess we go to the next genre, um, fighting. Um, this is not me at all. I don't fuck with fight games. Because I don't fuck with fight games because like I like story. I like story. And I like content and shit to do. Fight games is mostly you get a bullshit story and you fight arcade mode. Maybe you can do what a challenge mode or top one hundred bullshit or survivor survivor bullshit. It's always the same modes for most fighting games. Um, that's just not for me. I mean, it's a few games that have great stories like Dragon Ball Z Budokai Three. I love that fucking that game had like what if scenarios. Um, you can collect the Dragon Balls. You can do just so much shit. Like that's what I'm disappointed about fighters. Dragon Ball fighters. I'm just like, damn, that's three mode. Okay, Toriyama like drew a character, but no, this is not. In, <laughs> but um, this all been shit. He a fighting game nigga. I ain't no fighting gamer. All right, so you got your classic titles like Street Fighter. Dead or Alive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is different types of... Yeah. Because um, it's like... Some games, you can you got to press like a thousand fucking combo buttons to fucking execute some shit. And some game, some games just press like A, B, A, B, C, blah, blah, blah. Not A, B, C. A, like A, B, X, Y, over, up. You know, you execute some shit. Some shit is just ridiculous. Um, but, um, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So you got some type of like Dead or Alive. Tekken, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter. Yeah, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I would say is the more button ashy. <laughs> no, it's not. Wait, yes, it is. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Yeah, you can. Uh, well, the old one. I don't know about the new shit, but it's not. You can just. When I mean by button ashy, you just press a bunch of shit and you can pull some shit off. <laughs> don't listen to us. He's not playing fight games. He would get. I say the early, early Mortal Kombat. It was man. No, nah, like Fucking button mash, nigga. Like, got Mortal Kombat, King of Fighters. King of Fighters. Um, this yeah. nigga name every fucking fighting game ever. <laughs> Under the birth. This nigga put us say SNK names or Skyrim. Melty Blood. Oh, Bloody Golden Roar. Huh? Bloody Roar. Bloody Roar. It's a lot. Golden, of Golden Killer Instinct. Golden Instinct. There's a, there's a whole bunch of fucking fighting games out there. <laughs> I would make me you starting with Street Fighter. Street Fighter. Yeah. Um, why? Because Street Fighter is the basis of all fighting games. Yeah, and it's pretty no. basic. You can press just literally with four button combos mostly. Oh, um, are we talking about classic? Like, yeah, classic. Yeah, cl- like, it's six buttons. It's like you got your hard, medium, hard, medium, soft, punching the kicks. You know, you, you got your simple command moves for special moves. So you get like quarter circle punch for a fire bar, quarter circle back for like the hurricane kick. Mm-hmm. This nigga doing Another Monroe uh, Street Fighter uh, <laughs> shit, but yeah, that, yeah, that that is a class, that is a good entry level game to get into. Um, I would say um, Tekken. For Tekken. Me, Tekken is more yeah, the, entry if, level. Yeah, if you want to get like a three D fighting game. If you want to, because if you want to, yeah, because it is a difference between two D and three D. Three D more you can like duck in and out of the uh, the back the scenery. Yeah, you, know, you can side step. You can side step. That's the yeah. uh, thing. Um, but it's these new fighting games where it's like like what we call it 3D fighters like uh, Dragon Ball you, uh, what was it Xenoverse Xeno, like Xenoverse those are not real fighting games those are fucking trash not play the games those games aren't 
like those people who play the games will get an ass whoop by people like me who actually know how who play with finance. Now, would you call those butt mashing? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Press A to win over and over again. Jesus Christ. Um, I just don't like the whole searching for your fucking opponent. Now, okay, I understand you trying to make it real, but that's dumb. <laughs> Give me the fight. I don't want to fly around looking for my fucking person to fight. Like, if you're going to do that, make it a fucking real 3D action game. Y'all got all this shit and y'all got a real good story. Mode. I want to, man, goddamn, what the fuck's wrong with them? But, um, but, um, yeah, fighting games, I, I fuck with uh, Smash Bros. I'm really loving that, so I, that's why I'm fucking with fighting games. I like something like Budokai. Um, what is another fighting game coming up? Um, no, let's see. I, probably, I do want to play Persona, the Persona fighting game. I want to play that Persona 4. I know, the, I, I don't know, I can't remember this one. This is what you like to tell us all fighting games. Oh, and I like Dead or Alive. I love Dead or Alive. That is what it is. Yeah, the tits, <laughs> the tits are great, and the, the uh, because I like fighting games where the women are badass, and yeah. that game has the most badass women. Like Kid Kasumi, Ayame, Ayame. Mm-hmm. That's all I know. I don't know the names. I just know the pur- purple girl, her girl, the fucking red haired girl. <laughs> I know that shit. Those girls are fucking beast. Like, oh, that game was great. Um, Tekken, I'm oh, sorry, I, I played a little bit of Tekken. Tekken is just, um, I can't really get that down for real, for real. I can get I can get down taking a little bit. And the characters are fucking weird, man. <laughs> That's what people take it. Like, these like, has fucking the tigers and shit like that. I, I do like um what's the <coughs> big ass Eddie. I Eddie. like Eddie though. Yeah. Him doing that. That's old school uh martial arts right there, bro. I love that Cop, shit. Cop Pearl. Yeah, man, that nigga great Eddie. Um What's the next like thing, genre in gaming? Um we did third person, we did the RPG, we did Puzzles. Uh, uh puzzle games. Uh, oh, I love um, Professor Layton. Um, it's on the uh, Nintendo 3DS or the DS to start it off. Those, it was actually created by a uh, master puzzle guy in Japan. I forgot his name, he just died. Um, it'll be in the description below. <laughs> but uh, he's a fucking goddamn beast. He did those those first games, those on the, the DS, the, um, what was it? Uh, Brain Age. Brain Age. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did those. He's fucking, um, fucking great. I'm gonna look the guy up, so pardon the silence, because I, I gotta get his dude, um, his props, because uh, these are one of my favorite games. They're like, these are straight up, like, puzzles that, like, you really gotta think about. Like, for real, these ain't just, like, pull, pull, pull this here to here. No, like, he actually asks you word puzzles, like, type shit. Um, go to the uh, weekend. Yeah, Akira Hino. No, sorry. That's level five. <laughs> That's the final level five. Uh, That's the name. Akira Togo. You can actually look up his books. His books are called uh, Brain Gymnastics. You actually can find those books. Um, those are really rare to find. Really, really, very rare to find. But uh, some of the hardest puzzles, like, ever. Um, man. Like real good puzzles, like, like, um, like you having like uh, leaders of two, three, and five. Each one, I need you to put one liter of milk, then five liters of milk in the two, and like he makes it so like hard and complicated. It's it, is, it turns out to be super simple because it's you know it's one of the most popular games in Japan. It made so much money. That is like for real, for real, like very popular. So I love puzzle games. I love Tetris. Tetris is who don't like fucking Tetris, man. You gotta be an asshole. Like, like Tetris that fucking basically made the Game Boy what Game Boy is. For real, that was the first game on Game Boy, it was Tetris. I fucking love Tetris. Um, like Puyo Puyo, um, that's a lot of people know it as uh, Dr. Robotnik's Bean Machine, that was on the Sega. But uh, I love that game. Um, I don't know. I mean, I like the Doom. Puzzle Fighter. Uh, puzzle Fighter, yeah, love Puzzle Fighter. Um, you know, bejeweled type. I like any games that like bejeweled esque type look. You know, mm-hmm. like like you know, you know, Puyo Puyo type. I don't like those type games. Um, and I like you know, uh, what's those games called? Uh, it's like Nine 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 and um, Zero Escape something. Yeah, but those are like more version novels. Yeah, but those are puzzles games. Oh, like, they got puzzles. Yeah, yeah, dude, they, 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 it's like it's like people kidnap. And they gotta solve puzzles to get out of like legit like puzzles like hey you stuck in this room 
um, all you you gotta just basically be looking around, looking for shit, trying to get out. It's like those um, locked room little games you see like on the old browsers back in the day um, on PC. Um, but yeah, I love those games. What about you? I know, plus guy. No, plus guy. I know, plus game. They're great, man. I hate like overthinking shit. No, overthinking shit. God. <laughs> Um, video games, video games is escapism. Um, you don't want to be thinking about work. <laughs> <laughs> I play for fun. Um, you also got um, shoot 'em ups games. Like, shoot 'em ups. Like scroll, like side scrollers. Side scrollers, shoot 'em ups. Yeah, like, yeah. We can call them smups in the game. Smups. smups. Yeah. So you, you got like Earth Run Gym, mm-hmm. Toho, mm-hmm. Nazi Forty Two. Mm-hmm. I'm name the old games. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Galica. Oh. Wow. You said Earthborn Jam. Yeah, that's a shoot up. That's, it was a shoot up. Mm, nah. Okay, that was like okay, that was a one gun. It's like a platformer. Like platformer one yeah. gun. I mean, you're right. That was a platformer. You oh. had a gun. I mean, would you call fucking uh, Mario that? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> one to one gun game. But yeah, platformers. That is the next one you're oh, talking yeah. about. Platformers. But yeah, go ahead, shoot them up. Shoot them up. You tell me like uh, what's that old school game? Something TV. Smash TV, TV. <laughs> like that. That's more. Hey, shoot them up, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You run around in circles, shooting motherfuckers. Um, I don't like those games. I, don't like, those I like them. Like if I'm burnt to time, half mine a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I can't do those. Especially the ones where you gotta go super fast. You gotta shoot up like oh, yeah. shit. I don't like that. Yeah, you get shot at. You get shot yeah, at. I don't like that. Yeah. Shit. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. The Smash Bros. got to do that. Like, oh, like that type of shit. That's just basically what it is. Yeah, I don't like shit like that. No. You die so easily. I don't like easily dying bullshit. I don't like that. The best way to beat the games is to take it out of round before you play it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just joking. Don't do it. <laughs> um, but the next one we should say uh, platformers. Like platformers. Like, like, like platformers. Platformers are like Mario. Look, 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 That's Mario. traditional. Just to say Mario, 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 Sonic, Crash Bandicoot. Crash Bandicoot. Just. Basically, Smart. if you're jumping on top of things, it's mostly you collecting a bunch of shit. Like, collect a bunch of uh, hearts, collect a bunch of this. You get lives. Um, that's basically what the origin of, like, sort of what gaming really was. You know, for, like, Nintendo, you, you know. It was a platformer. Yeah. It's basically arcade type shit. We yeah. talk about arcade, but I, I didn't grow up in the 80s. That's more of an 80s, early 90s. I mean, it's nineties too. We play arcade, but I wasn't arcade playing as niggas, so I didn't fuck me. Yeah, like we didn't. Anything. I didn't. It was like no I was a console. I had co- consoles was out, so sort of defeated the purpose of going in out, yeah. putting quarters in machines. And plus, I mean, there was no arcades in our our area, so it's like no, there was no arcades in my. Mind. You got to drive there. I'm talking about sure, arcades. Got to be no walking games for the kids. Come on now, but. Parents gonna drive me somewhere that's waste their money, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> like, give me your own five dollars for quarters. <laughs> so I can fuck it off in a dark ass place, <laughs> with strangers. You know. So no, we, that's why we're not bringing up arcade. Yeah. We play the games that they brought from arcade to the systems. I mean, who don't I'm like right. who don't like you know Neo Geo and you know SNK games? Who don't love that? So, hell yeah. But platformers, um, yeah, I love them. Shit, I think that's what started that's gaming. Shit, <laughs> like. Of like after the crash, should yeah. say. Um, that was started again. That was fucking shit. I loved it. Um, shit, I love Mario. And uh, I ain't a sick of it, so I never liked Sonic. Sonic, like I don't fucking get hit one time and you lose everything. It's the <laughs> dumbest shit ever. I just like you, you had to move fast, but you still. I just, I, give me some health, nigga. <laughs> you know, I would have been cool with Sega, Sega if Sonic had some health. But I do like their uh, their. Beginning car, you put the cartridge in and you go, Sega! <laughs> Who don't love that though? Like, that was a point for them right there. Nintendo didn't have that nigga. Um, when Nintendo uh, don't, what was, it, what was it? Sega Dust or Nintendo don't? Yeah, <laughs> Sega Dust or Nintendo don't. Straight up. That was a great battle between them two. Yeah, when it was Nintendo. Um, <laughs> when it all came down to it, because these niggas was making a thousand consoles before the fucking new one. Sega Genesis. Sega Saturn, <laughs> Sega CD, Sega 32X, like, fuck. Sega God. 32X plus Sega CD. Like, y'all niggas fucking up. Like, niggas couldn't catch up in the back then. Those, those consoles did cost a lot of money back then. Hey, those, you're fucking goofy. What? Those Japan, well, the, 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 the Japanese sort of told Nintendo America, man, not Nintendo America, Sega of America to fuck you. <laughs> we're not doing that 32X shit. We went to, to the Saturn. Mm-hmm. That's all they had to do, because we're working on Saturn. I get, you know, 
Sega was getting popular in, in America in 94, but it's like, they should have been to Sega, Saturn, and because treated the Sega Genesis as a budget console until Saturn picked up, but they fucked up by doing the 32X and the Sega CD. Yeah, and that's what happens when you drop too many bullshits for they got too many peripherals for one damn console. Yeah. So I mean, not to knock Sega CD because you know Sega CD had they had single games like a no no Sega CD. I play some Sega CDs uh, games, but they ain't going that great. But uh, Japanese games were. Yeah, yeah. But uh, platformers are great. What about you? Like platforms? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, what you play? I like Super Mario sixty four. Mm-hmm. Mystical Ninja Story and Gory Mon. Okay. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. This nigga look at me like, is that the right game? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, nigga, it's the right game. No, I'm talking about like, what game though? It's... You have the name every one. I'm just saying, like, yeah, all right. Those are like the games I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sonic Three. Is he just gonna name, name number sixty four games? But, <laughs> but yeah, it's most of platformers that don't exist anymore. Um, you mean sometimes some games try to slide on the platform like. Uncharted is sort of a platformer, even though it's cheap shit. That's why it's like, that's why it's like Earthworm Jim is a platformer, nigga. Uh, Earthworm Jim, you know, that's a platformer. Um, it's some quirky platformers, though, if you ever have time. Um, we'll talk a little later about ROMs and emulators. Um, <laughs> but um, it's some great, like, platformers if you ever want to play, like, Earthworm Jim. Um, just obscure. Castlevania. Like, you know, shit, just shit like that. Um, or it's great. Mega Man? Yeah. Yeah, Mega Man. Yeah, all those games. Like, all those games are great. Vice. What? Vice. You said Vice? Yeah, it's obscure. It's like an, I don't it's, know. It's, 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 all, it's obscure Nintendo platformer that t- take place in the 80s. Mm. I think Tecmo I think Tecmo, Tecmo made it. Tecmo? Koei Tecmo? Yeah, or just regular Tecmo? Tecmo. Before, there was like, like at least two decades before they emerged. Came out in the like 80s. Okay, I guess we can go right into ROM hands. No, ROMs. Um, I love ROMs. Um, yeah, ROMs is basically a way everybody. I think if you even know anything about gaming, I think you, you know, know about ROMs. 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 You, you probably got a fucking ROM with your goddamn phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but ROMs are basically people who take video games and upload like, like the data and files. To the yeah, they and um, everybody do like a, they flash the card into like a on the computer and dump the ROM image on the computer so you can play it. So basically, for real, I mean, Nintendo sort of attack hack uh, ROM sites, but man, you can Thanks play. Assholes. You can get fucking every goddamn game you ever wanted. To play when you <laughs> now, nah, I'm just talking about like old old game. Yeah, like, if it's like some games because Los Angeles, like the '80s and what? Yeah, like the '80s, yeah. like some of the '90s video games, like PS One era. Like you pretty guaranteed you can get PS One, sixty four. Um, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega, all the Sega consoles. You guarantee to get all those old school 2D game systems. You guarantee to get them. Um, PS1, all that shit. You guarantee to get those. Um, I really don't like playing those games on a computer. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't like ROMs. I don't have to, I don't like um, PC bullshit as well because like you gotta have certain fucking things installed to your shit just to make sure these games work. Yeah. Especially when you start going higher up in systems like we start getting to the 64 and PS1 that's when you really you gotta put in plugins and yeah, all type of fucking shit right. and like have some people don't even like give it a file to give you, you gotta, hey you gotta find a file somewhere else and, and don't forget you gotta put this file within that that folder just just so you can save some like what like what like this is a bot system that's what I did with the uh with the Wii and for the GameCube, like I want a GameCube. Like I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking down. I'm not gonna make an emulator and all this extra I, shit. The most I would do is like I bought the goddamn GameCube. Yeah, 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 the most I would do is probably if I got an actual console, I'd just you know down on the ROM on a flash drive and plug flash drive right into the console and play off that. Yeah, you mean like console, computer console? Yeah, I mean uh, like an actual console. So say if I want to emulate a PS2. I got a PS2 so I can just fucking download PS2 ISOs on a flash drive and plug it to my hacked PS2 to play ROMs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Notice that you gotta have a hacked PS2. Yeah, like, if you want to. He's talking about some extra shit now. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't trying, I ain't trying to hack none of my systems. Fuck, <laughs> I look like. Now, PS2, I don't give a shit. That's a fucking throwaway system in 2019, but. 
You think I'm crazy gonna fuck with my fucking PS3 or PS4? You insane, nigga. I ain't gonna fuck with my shit. I look at them all the time, you know, how to hack it. I'm like, nah, it's too much risk. And y'all niggas on my map buying a magic stick and all the other bullshit. I'm like, man, they ain't worth it, man. Just, I kind of understand Super Nintendo and yes, but come on, man. Fucking Dreamcast, some shit. Like, come on, you can fucking buy a Dreamcast, nigga. Right. I, know, I think I have two drug houses. If you can fucking purchase, you can purchase, you can look up a show online. It's thousands of those goddamn consoles, man. People are always selling those old retro consoles now. A super yeah. Nintendo niggas be charging. Yeah. Ridiculous prices. Yeah. And that time it's going to work. Yeah, Super Nintendo is like, worth like 130 That's what I say. Don't try to buy. For, for, don't buy no Super Nintendo unless it's like at a store. Yeah. Like a, like a I don't know, an old retro game store or something. Buy it from there because at least they know it probably works. But don't buy a shit online. Most of that shit. That's outdated system. You need some new batteries. Some of these old NES games need batteries. And like it's not worth it for real. Me personally, but um, ROM hacks. Yeah, I got most of. I got all, I got a lot of my PlayStation, PlayStation on my computer. I mean, you can, like, I got DS games, but I, I, I sort of feel wrong playing those DS what? games. Uh, the, no, that's DS games. I, like I can get a DS now. Come on, Charles. You be yeah. come on, nigga. Like, you can buy these motherfuckers. I, I actually like carrying shit around. I, like, come on, I want to play a DS game on a damn computer. Come on, man, it's just meant for you to kick back and play. It. Not shit, kick back at a computer work desk. <laughs> you know, so. Nah. I, mean, I got, I, mean, I got a uh, GameCube, not GameCube. I got a uh, Game Boy Advance later, so I mean, I can we judge my career. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> How you play like in the mom hacks? Um, no, I like mom hacks. I do. Um, I didn't play my regular game. Yeah, like, but man, I, like I play like a few five on my mom hacks. Mm-hmm. Like, like some of the other five five M games are so fucking archaic, meaning how to play so fucking old that you do have to probably why hack the game to make it play like a modified five M game, mm-hmm. make it better. All like my hacks were um, they increase the game difficulty, make it harder, so you have to actually. Apply strategies. Man, give me my fucking vanilla game. Fuck all this hack shit, man. Then it destroy your goddamn. System. I'm not saying a fire emblem NES game will fucking shit. I'm talking about like <laughs> ROM hacks from for like you know fucking um, was, was it Xenoverse or some shit. No, 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 no. That's all. Uh, that's called modding. Yeah, mod. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. It was the same shit. Yeah, yeah. same mod hack. You fucking with someone's shit is not yours. How about that? <laughs> Dude, you ain't creative. Fucking, I don't want to play fucking Shaggy or Dragon Ball Z. No Yeah, you heard that rumor about Shaggy being in fucking Mortal Kombat. Motherfucking, uh, the, the creator, uh, Ed Boon, had to come out and say, hey, Shaggy not going to be there. Because this was like really like, trying to will into existence. See, that's wrong with another wrong. Uh, let me just go back to the game culture. That's another wrong gaming culture. They were trying to will shit into existence and they will sit there and make memes, make Forums make channels. They'll their YouTube motherfuckers will talk about it forever. And nigga, stop! <laughs> you just jerking yourself, and you're not never coming, nigga. <laughs> you just the issue. You just fucking frustrated. Like why ain't nothing coming, <laughs> nigga? Cause your ass is. Uh, no, I forgot the proper word. You're impotent, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you can't do shit anyway. Um, but, but yeah, man, I'm fucking around and shit like that. But um, let's get into the next thing. Um, violence in video games in the real life. This, like, this, is, this is not the 1990s, Charles. Yeah, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh. But it, it keeps coming up every time it was a mass shooting. They want like the last one. It's a Parkland shit. They, yeah. they played right there for all five. It's called a smoke screen. It's called distraction. Like, um, they just wanted to bring it up. Yeah. It's not real. It's not real. It's if, if people. You think video game make people do shit? You know how many people be killing you right now? Yo. Think about it. Just think about it. Okay, I just told you. It's okay. Grand Theft Auto just sold. GTA 5 sold like a billion copies. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is a billion people killing people. But you know what I mean? No one's like playing GTA 5 and killing people. Come on now. That's ridiculous. And I mean, you got weirdos who want to carry a sword around because they're fucking playing off at Final Fantasy. But <laughs> <laughs> that's just nerves. <laughs> it ain't violence. It's just nerdish. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want a sword though? Jesus. Uh, I want an axe. Uh, axe, nigga? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't like a regular little look of 
Toronto or some shit. Look at how dirty we got. <laughs> axe nigga, you ridiculous hanging around a fucking axe. You, you fucking brute. <laughs> <laughs> nigga want an axe, nigga. <laughs> but we just want to let me know. My people might think like, um, for people who are, are trying to get into gaming or you are maybe your mother who has kids, like, oh, you play them shooting games. Them shooting games are going to make the nigga shoot them goddamn schools. I'm telling you right now. And if he do do that shit uh, for a slight, small percent chance he do that shit, <laughs> man, what the fuck's going on in your home? <laughs> oh, fuck, he fucking playing GTA 5 and want to go to school. <laughs> kids. And this is what for the white people because the niggas ain't doing all that yeah. shit. Yeah. doing shit like this. But, um, speaking of white people shit. So, um, if you talk about violence, you know, playing video games for shit. Mm-hmm. So, some kid in the UK killed himself. Mm-hmm. And they blamed Doki Doki Village Club. Really? Yeah, because. Look, Doki Doki Literature Club is a. Oh, oh we, we should have said that one as well, yes. That's another uh, genre of yeah. video games, visual novels. It's basically like, books that move. <laughs> with, with animators. So with, with animations. And so you got like Higurashi Winnikai, Yumeko, Doki Doki Literature Club, Stein Gate. This nigga just naming. Nigga, it's a thousand of them. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Well, I'm about to name the top tier. I mean, that type of. Oh, the, it's no, another no, genre, too. It's a. Uh, Every so team. Porn video games as well. Yeah, we write. Fate, Zero Escape. Okay. So yeah, so um, this ain't a fucking sport. This happens in the beginning of the game. So no, you get to why the dude kills himself. Oh, he kills. Oh, why? Yeah, you. That's the whole point. You started. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah. kill himself? You better tell us about Ducky Duck Village Club. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 because like two of the girls in the game killed himself, and oh, okay. he had a game on his laptop. And a hack version on his phone, and he thought that he was inspired to kill himself based on the game. That's weird as yeah. well. No, that's bullshit. No. Yes, yeah, so the parents are trying to come up. Yeah, like, oh, I guess I'm gonna sue this Doki Doki game. You know, Doki Doki means heartbeat, right? <laughs> heartbeat, heartbeat. You know, right? You're supposed to be living, nigga, and I'm fine. <laughs> we, they spread love in the damn game. You think it's talk about? <laughs> Shit. You should be mad at yourself. What you, what you do, parents? Yeah, don't try to blame us. Don't try to yeah. fucking blame us. They're going to they gonna fucking, they gonna throw a motherfucking um, hack into the fucking video game. The creator is like, you know, we're going to do a suicide young boy. with You know, what the dude look like. <laughs> Bastard. How dare you? Bonus content. Free DLC. <laughs> uh, what's this boy name? The Elliot Reed death <laughs> ending, motherfucker. And we're going to have the parents come ask for money. <laughs> Fuck, bro, these fucking people. Some video game people. You yeah, did they make billions of dollars. You can't fucking you can't sue these niggas for some shit your dumb fucking you kid do. Um for real. Um yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? Alright, we're recording now. Okay. Yeah, sorry, the fucking goblin came in with a fucking bag. He I think it was a fucking um bag of chips. Yeah, a bag of chips, nigga. I was gonna say a fucking um <laughs> possum in that motherfucker <laughs> rattling and shit. But um Alright, you fucks. The State of the Union going long, but we don't give a fuck. This is the State of the Union. Shit, the president, he can hold the fucking. If he wanted to, Trump can fucking cut the airways and talk for five, seven, eight, and nine, ten hours if he wanted to. It's his time. Nick, it's our State of the Union for video games. <laughs> okay. We gonna, it's, it's three pillars of video game right now that's holding up. Well, I don't give a fuck about PC, they don't count. Yes, um, it does. But it's three pillars. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's. Um, yeah, leave place- her. PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, and we'll say PC is for. Um, but we'll start off with uh, PS4. Um, PlayStation, um, they started off with uh, the Sony PlayStation, then they made the PS2, made the PS3, they made the PSP, the PS Vita, PSP Go. Um, that's what it's called. That, that was a piece of shit. Um, PS TV, and they made the PS4. PS TV. And those are uh, systems. PlayStation is a Japanese company. Um, they Sony. Everybody knows who Sony is. They're they fucking. Yours. They make appliances, so it, it made sense why they make video games. But it started off as a love thing with Nintendo and Sony. They're supposed to make a system together, um, but at the last minute, Nintendo Sony was like, fuck shit. Yeah, and they sort of like, well, we'll make our own. We'll make our own shit with the shit we uh, thought of anyway. And that's what the PlayStation is. Was supposed to be a Nintendo PlayStation. Yeah, it was like a Nintendo add-on. 
Um, but and they jumped and Nintendo they still want to stick to the CD shit, so they went to Philips and made some bullshit CD fucking man. So yeah, we no one Nintendo doesn't talk about that dark time. <laughs> hey, those two things Nintendo does not talk about. That console and Virtual Boy. Yeah. Because the Virtual Boy was a 3D virtual reality bullshit that burnt niggas' eyes. <laughs> I'm just playing. It was great as fuck. What the fuck were they thinking? No, somebody had to be nice off. I did as fuck. But, um, yeah, Sony's great. Um, they are basically what Nintendo should have been because all the RPGs that was really originally on the NES and Super Nintendo moved right to that PlayStation. I mean, a few people stay, you know, like what, with Fire Emblem. No, no, no. Wait, what do you say? Uh, 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 the RPGs, the a lot of games. Oh yeah, like didn't all the companies went to like Sony because like Nintendo made these underpowered piece of shit consoles. Not they were piece of shit, but you can't make your visual work work with twenty three megabytes of RAM. I'm <laughs> like, no, we need a CD, nigga. What is wrong with you? Like, so a lot, of, a lot of a lot of. Launching games Like big games Like Final Fantasy Went there Dragon Quest Went there Metal Gear Metal Gear, Metal Gear. Well Metal Gear was, Yeah Metal Gear But Metal Gear Was more a PC game yeah. At first But um But yeah Sonic Kill I mean I, That's one of my Favorite consoles I own a Playstation 3 A PS4 or I want all that shit No bullshit now. I want a PS1 PS2 I like all that shit Cause PS2 was great. It, it, this actually, to this day, is the best selling console of all time. Is the PS2, not what people think is the Wii. You no, know, it's the PS2. And the reason why I sold so much because they had a DVD player. <laughs> That's the <laughs> only reason why I sold so much. People are like, oh, like because you can't just sell someone a game to you know for a parent. You can't because all this is is hustling parents. Because parents are buying these systems. They ain't no grown man. It is most grown grown people, but you still got your kids. And this is another incentive, like, ooh, you got a DVD player. My mom's a DVD player to record the movies, and I can play my game. So, PS2 sold, like, what, a hundred fucking million consoles, and she has a lot of money. Um, actually, they stopped making the PS2s back in, like, what, 20, 2015 type shit. Yeah. It's like, people, people still playing it in South America. Like, that's still a popular system in South America. Sega, too. Like, they still make consoles and shit for Sega and all that shit, like, no bullshit. <laughs> South America? Yeah, South America is a very popular place for old consoles because they can't afford a PS4. Oh, yeah. This shit costs like a thousand dollars, dude. <laughs> like you know, the money exchange and shit. Shit cost, consoles cost a lot of money in other countries. Like like game I don't know, like in Australia, games cost like eighty dollars. That's standard price, eighty bucks for standard games, nigga. Now imagine with the DLC, they need to come out one hundred fifty dollars for one game. No, oh. but. I love the PS uh, PlayStation. I love Sony. Um, shit, they fucking created the fucking Walkman. <laughs> like, come on now. Like, who else? Like, they know what the fuck they're doing. Um, I like that they. I um, fuck with Sony because they make the weird Japanese shit. They. That's what. That's all. That's all I'm down for. Weird Japanese shit because that's the coolest shit to play. <laughs> they, that's why we get my RPGs. Like super cool niche ass games. Yes. Like, man, I love fucking Grand Tour. To me, some uh, yeah, Grand Triples? Yeah, yeah. I, I only played it a little bit, but then I, my dad said my muffler broke. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, damn, this is a real game. Yeah, like, it's, it's, a, it's a simulator. Yeah, it's a real... Uh, it's nothing we've got to do. Sims. Yeah, everybody know what the Sims, though. Simulator games, you know, God games, shit like that. Um, that's another genre of games and shit, but we're on the PlayStation now. Um, yeah, PlayStation great. Um, one thing I like about PlayStation is, like, you do fuck shit like you can't do backwards compatibility. And backwards compatibility is basically you can pay like a PS2 disc into a PS3 and so on and so forth. You can't do that for the PS3 unless you got the one the early, early models that got literally 50 gigs of megabyte, uh, 50 gigs, and that's that's not gonna hold up when it comes to updates and all the games. When literally like some of the early PS3 games, you have to install the game. That's fucking an hour and a half. Man, try playing Metal Gear Solid 4. Um, Guns of the Page are going to PlayStation 3. Dude, you have to ins- install after every act. <laughs> Even though you understand because he really utilized that PS3. Like, literally, I never saw a game where, like, well, that's an idea of Kojima. He likes to make video games where, like, you can, the cutscene in the game is the same thing. Mm-hmm. Like, it's no, like, because some games do bullshit like that, like Final Fantasy is known for, like, you know, the cutscene looks fucking beautiful, but the actual game ain't not, like, the cutscenes and shit. Like, I'm talking about the actual cinematics, not, like, Cutscene, cutscenes, but 
the PlayStation is awesome. I just want my deck backwards compatibility bullshit. Um, I guess I gotta say, because a lot of people talk about, well, the mainstream gaming media like to complain about how you can't do cross play with the Xbox and Switch. Um, who gives a fuck? I'm going to online. They, they told y'all why they don't want to do it. They don't want niggas jumping from other systems. They said it. Like, I'm, like if, you, if you, like, find out you can play your game on a Switch, you're going to go to the Switch and play it on a Switch, and then you're going to spend your money on the Switch. No. They said that shit. And not in that type of term, but they said, like, no, we want the money from you. Because you know, you know if you, like, buy, like, a skin in Fortnite, mm-hmm. like, a skin, I mean, like, you get a different look of, like, a character, your clothes type shit. You know, places you can get, Sony get, like, a 30% cut of that. Okay, well, now what if your ass take your profile over to Switch? Because it's cross-play. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck, now we just lost a customer. I understand, it's big. People don't understand. Gaming is a fucking business. It's capitalism, man. It's just a business that's not about giving a fuck about you or nobody else. And as soon as you understand that shit, you as soon as you understand, you will stop buying game, all games on retail. You, you can learn how to wait. You learn how to study. You learn how to, you know, just look at videos. Shit. Come on now. But that's what I really don't like about Sony for real. They just bullshit on back with some bad ability. Um, um, I think they're slacking in the Japanese, the RPG side of the game. They really don't have, like, they really don't have a lot of game nuts RPGs. That they, they do, but it'd be like, some of the bullshit is like Grand Blue, Grand Grand Brew, Grand, Grand, Grand some bullshit. They be having some like shit. No, Grand Nebula, some bullshit like that. <laughs> oh, you yeah, that fucking weird ass stressing out bullshit. Just not like it's not some fucking um, so RPG is just like some shit that, that is high dimension shit. Some yeah, high dimension. Yeah, like, I, I, that, that is the most fucking dude. dude. RPG. That's what I'm talking about with the Hyper Blue. That's what I was yeah. talking about. That's the Grand Dead. What's the game? What you just Hyper Dimension. Hyper Dimension. Those are those games I was talking about. All those titles I just say, those are those games. Those type of games. I hate those fucking type of fucking games. Yeah, the, they, drop, they drop a they lot of those. They fucking panoram. Yes, they drop a lot of those games on PlayStation. Um, but, uh, they just haven't been doing great with that on RPGs. They been dropping good, like, American, I, like, you know, Games was because everything has RPG elements typed in it now, leveling up, you know, all that bullshit. But yeah, um, the next one is uh, Nintendo. My love hate for it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I ain't mentioned about Sony. What's your love hate about Sony? Sorry, I, I, Sony is honestly the only company I don't really hate. And, they, and let it be known, like, right now they're winning. Right now they're winning. Like for my personal experience, it's only as somebody who play, who play a few song games. Like I don't really hate them. Like that's all I can't see with them bad about them. Like I mean, the back of some bad ability, I'm pissed at that. Yeah, that's that's like, the only thing I, I, I just said buy yeah. the whole system, so I'm not mad at that. If you bought it, and you had it, you won't worry about it. And that's how they sort of treat it, but it's still some whole shit. Mm-hmm. Come on now, and they know when they make the PS5, they can't do that shit. You can't, you can't, you can't tell niggas in 2020. That you can't play your PS4 games, your PS5, dude. You go and fucking have niggas. This gaming culture go fucking. <laughs> Boy, yeah, Nintendo no. I mean, Nintendo, I mean, Sony right. no. Now, there's a rumor about the PS5 having you play PS1, 2, PS4 games. That'd um, be a fucking godsend. It's a rumor. I saw it on WordPress, it's on Blogger. Say it's WordPress, <laughs> But if it's true, I'm getting PS5. It's okay. game over. Yeah. But that, but you just got to say my song. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to Netflix and Nintendo. Um, my love, hey. Well, we just said Nintendo basically saved video gaming yeah. from after the crash. That's most people around our age and even people older. They Nintendo is the one, unless they swing old old heads who like, oh, Commodore sixty four. That's the best. no. Nah. They nah. just they just they they know games trash. No one plays adventure. And if you want to know adventure, look in the description below. Or type it in yourself. Look, type in the vi- adventure video game. That's how generic the title was. That's how fucked up gaming was back then. You just can name a game adventure. And you literally a fucking dot looking around for a key. Us oh, fucking. Oh my god. That's retarded. Retarded. Nigga. And compared it to like the NES Mario. Like, okay. Like, <laughs> alright. But, um. I love it to know. Um, I sort of backed away from that uh, when they made the Wii. Um, I 
just couldn't do the weed, man. I'm not for weed wiggling, man. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. I need a control. I need a fucking do this gay yeah, shit. You know, like, like, I'm, I'm like, like fucking controller, man. Get a controller. I need a controller. <laughs> Fuck this shit. That's why I like Sony. They get the same design. They did control. Tweak it a little bit here and there. But they get the same design. They hey, do bro, that. don't fix it. You know, right. Don't fix it, man. They fucked up. Um, I didn't mess with the weed. Didn't mess with the Wii U. But I, I, I never, I never stopped buying the handhelds. Though the handhelds always, I bought every single one. I bought, but I always had one. The Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, which is your name. Um, okay, Nintendo made the NES. They made the Super NES, uh, or some people call it SNES. SNES. Uh, Super Nintendo. Best Nintendo console to me. They made the Nintendo 64, Nintendo GameCube. They made uh, the, the Game, Game Boy. Oh, no, I was going to go today. Um, and then I was doing consoles first. Okay. And then they made I was like GameCube, and then they made the Wii. They made the Wii U. Um, the, the, but what they really, really made their money for real, for real was the Game Boy. The Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy SP, Game Boy Advance, Game, Game Boy, Boy Pocket, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, you color as a color, um, get, uh, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Nintendo 3DS XL. Then, yeah, you can so you chose to skip over the Game Boy Advance. And so many SKUs because then some were like backlights, some don't have backlight. It, it was so many other SKUs because they wanted to make it slimmer or bigger. It, they made game bust amount of money. They that's what they bread and butter is for real for his handheld. Like, god damn. That's what I love about Nintendo. Like They own a massive handheld game. Yeah, massive handheld and their 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 whole mod, model is family friendly. If Sony had a model, they would have been like adult shit. You know, this is grown folks gaming grown right folks here. Business. This is grown folks game right here. Nintendo like oh, it's the family come in. Hey, and don't worry. If you lose any of our games, it's fun. Because that's what they do not do. They're, they know how to make games that you lose and still fun, like who like playing Mario Kart? It's it's you might feel bad in last place if you have fun, you know, throwing you know shells and throwing blind man. It'll still have, you had a great time. And that's what Nintendo's great at. They have a bunch of uh, weird Japanese motherfuckers who's all about happiness and they care about gaming first. They don't care about nothing else but the gaming and the quality of games. Like nowadays, a lot of people don't give a fuck about that. It's all about the bottom line. Even though we said it's capitalism, it's about money. But Nintendo, they the only people still have the integrity. Well, oh. seem like they're not lately. Yeah. But. I actually saw it on the Switch. <laughs> Fucking hentai games on the Switch. <laughs> okay, well, not hentai games, but had to get Japanese girls. Yeah. But you're playing a board game. But, like. We're sorry, Iwata. Yeah, sorry, Iwata, man. Iwata was uh, the OG of um, Nintendo, but he died. And now you're like, fuck it. <laughs> Fucking mask make, off. Let's make the eShop. Because the eShop, as I know, the eShop on the Wii and the 3DS, like they had literally exclusive games. Like games that never came to America and they like actually for real translating. I think they even brought like Mother 3 you could play on the Wii or some 3DS or some shit. Not Mother 3. Uh, Earthbound Zeal? Uh, they remade Earthbound Beginnings. Yeah. They remade Earthbound. Um, no, they remade it. They ported it. They ported it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was. Um, I like to know. Um, I had, like I said, I had a Super Nintendo, I had a fucking NES, I had all the Game Boy consoles, um, I had a 64, I just, uh, I never had a GameCube, um, but I got one now, because like, if you've got the early Wii consoles, they had the GameCube ports with it, so you can, it's actually a better GameCube system for real, for real, it plays games better, um, like, you know, the fresh rates way better, so I recommend playing, if you can snatch up a Wii with the GameCube ports, um, get that. And you can play two games as far as one. Just, I don't really want to play with that bullshit. Something to buy like a controller. The the official Wii controller bullshit. Um, so, I don't give a fuck about a Wii U. They're going to port most Wii U games. Because that was a failing console. So, most of the Wii U games that came out, they're going to port it to the fucking uh, Switch. Like, it's a br- like they're going to drop Twilight Princess and all. And br- uh, Wind Waker HD. I can't wait. Cause those are all the two games in the play. Because it was on a... On the GameCube, I have a GameCube, so I'm, I can play it. And I love Zelda, but what I don't like about Nintendo. Uh, what about you? What you love about Nintendo? Oh, oh, first, man, like they, but they they started gaming, man. They, they, they started gaming. gaming. They make they make quality games. They make they that, make good. That's worth putting money into. If you get high or whatever, Nintendo games are the best games to look at when you're high. Like <laughs> so colorful and just full of happiness. It's, Great, but go ahead, sorry. Man. Um, 
they got games where they appeal to all type of brands, I mean all type of people. And if you look at the Japanese side of the game of, Jap of uh, Nintendo, that's do get some games that are going to get it to more geared for older people. <laughs> but if you are if you're like that into Japanese shit, then yeah. But I like that like Nintendo is like the multiplayer games. Like you said earlier, like it does bring people together, mm -hmm. and if you do lose to the game, you you have fun playing the game with your friends. Because who who could say, man, that was fun losing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for real, they make fun losing. That, that should be a slogan. They, they should, hey, Nintendo, pay me. Sure, that's a great slogan. Have fun losing, straight up, and it's like crazy, but it's true. Yeah, it's fucking true. And I give them all props to that. It's just they fuck up sometimes with that waggle bullshit for we. Don't need them patch it for Wii U. Um, I did get GameCube because Nintendo's still known for that family friendly kitty bullshit and they really don't have no like adult games. Um, they sort of did that when they got the GameCube. They the first people to get Resident Evil 4. A lot of people didn't know that. Resident Evil 4 came on the GameCube. They had that purpose. Like, that's a uh, violent video game, you know what I'm saying? It ain't that violent, but it's still, you know, it is violent. You no, know, you, you, you know how Leon get his head fucking. Yeah, it yeah. 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 shows shit. Yeah. yeah. Resident Evil 4 God damn I love Resident Evil 4 But um Yeah That's shit like that Um That pedal frame Shit like that too Yeah Um Yeah It just I don't know Sony just came in So when I've had that Playstation I'm like okay Um They giving me what I want Like and I, Like I said I, I follow the RPGs And the RPGs Are with the Sony So I went there It'd be some here and there On a Nintendo console But Bread and butter Is still Sony <laughs> RPGs RPGs. I mean, Nintendo is finally getting their shit together on, uh, you know, console side. Sega, shit, Sega was uh, gonna play some RPGs. Yeah, too, yeah, 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 like Fantasy Star. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they fucked up. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, now that everybody's shit. But yeah, that's something I don't like about them. Um, I mean, and plus they be doing Nintendo bullshit. Like, um, hey, um, how can I find you on on the Nintendo Online? Okay, my number is uh, five 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 seven okay. nine ten. Okay. Two one eight hmm. Hmm. dash A K Y Z huh? dash. Um, or is it them letters lowercase or uppercase? Oh, um. <laughs> like oh, that, that's the type of that's how you gotta friend a person on a Nintendo console. You gotta get a fucking what sixteen digit <laughs> a code. fucking code to get your friend. They think this shit is the, it's a, they're so backwards like that. They think shit is like the age deal. Japan, me Nintendo. This is not the 90s. You don't this need a password for shit no more. You can have a save cartridge now. <laughs> what the fuck? Wrong with y'all. I mean, they did do smart shit with like Amiibo. Which, you know, that's a throwback to back in the day where they used to have blank disc. And you can go to a, a game con car, car console. You can put it in. You can upload a game to the disc. And then you can you know, play it for a while and then come back and you know, write over your next disc. With the new game, that's all what Amiibo so you can carry it. because Amiibo came from Super Smash Brothers. Like they wanted to have toys for the shit. They want you to like, you know, hey, look at my character I leveled up. You can take it to some of your friend house, put put it on that shit. And you can have the, your character fight your other friend's Amiibo character from the game. It's a, it's a cool cool thing for like you know kids type shit, but you know it's another throwback nostalgia bullshit. Like what are you doing? Now you got niggas price gouging a toy because niggas will buy all the Mario figurines and charge niggas fifty bucks a piece for them when they only cost a twenty. Like, what are you doing, Nintendo? And that's another thing they they do that artificial scarcity bullshit where they'll release a fucking console, give they'll give Missouri 50, 50 consoles the day of, and then one, and then the next news headline is Nintendo consoles are selling out all over the place. Like, no, you give niggas fifty. In one state, what the fuck they supposed to do? And they do this shit a lot just to, you know, bump up their stock because, you know, it's all about money. Mm -hmm. And to, um, you know, get the headline. People think it's the hottest thing to get. That's what they did with the Switch. That's why the Switch was so hard to get. Like, why the fuck is it so hard to get? And, they, they, and then their biggest complaint is going to be in the description below. When the Switch first came out, they blamed Apple. They said <laughs> Apple, they were using all the screens and shit, um, you know, because it's a certain type of screen, you know, phone. Like for the screen and switch need and all and Apple was using all the resources and shit. And I'll be like, get the fuck out of here, nigga. You knew this shit was gonna sell like game. You're fucking Nintendo. 
You think that, man, come on, man. Y'all know what the fuck y'all was doing. They did the same thing with the NES Classic bullshit. The $60 goddamn console to play NES games. To what, 20 of them? Man, get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to think of $60 for some games that you can fucking rom hack. <laughs> and some niggas, the niggas bought the thing, hacked it, and you can play every game in them now. I uh, won't well, need to buy one, nigga. Someone who hacked and put every Nintendo game on that motherfucker. They straight bought up. Nigga, get the fuck out of here. Uh-huh. Talking with that bullshit. And it's the hot thing to buy. They just did it to uh, the PS1 uh, classic, too. They just want to hack that shit. So just let it be known, anybody who want to get into to Nintendo, buying Nintendo shit because you got nostalgia, they going to fucking destroy your wallet. Nigga, the Switch came out and cost $300. But what if you want to play those little bitty nubs? Okay, we have we have a controller for eighty. Controller for eighty. God damn, man, that's more than a goddamn game. <laughs> the game only cost sixty five, and then they gonna give you fucking um, remasters of fucking Wii U games for sixty five when the game came out on the Wii for forty. <laughs> Wii U for forty type shit. Like that's how they get niggas. Like get the fuck out of here, Nintendo. Like they just so backwards. With it. Like it's a thing people saying on the gaming culture. Um, Nintendo do Nintendo shit. That's what they do. And then they Nintendo it up again. <laughs> like, you know what? Let's drop a, a, a fucking a console. But it's called the Wii U. <laughs> to confuse people to think it's like an add-on for a Wii. <laughs> and Not you need this pad that, that feels like a goddamn... Um, what are those fucking little kid fucking games? Um, Playhouse fucking toy, you know the little fake phones and shit, little babies we have, man. Play school. <laughs> Let's give you a play school pad, nigga, to play video games on for the Wii U. Nigga, you don't get the fuck out with it. Like, just make dumb decisions. Like, that waggle shit, yeah, it was a fad, man. Yeah, but, okay, you got grandmas to buy a Wii. But they never touched it again, dog. They played Wii Ball and Wii Sports, and that's it. That's it. They didn't play no fucking no Wii heroes. Nigga, like, what do you do? You fuck everybody over. And I'm, I'm, I never forget, like, like looking up, like, games of the time and during that generation with the Wii PS3? Yeah. And Xbox 360. <laughs> they go on because 360 and the PS3. They pumping out games like God of War and Gears of War. And these motherfuckers making. Man. Look up Madden for the Wii, and then look up Madden for the 360. This shit look like, man, Madden for the Wii look like a goddamn 64 game. No bullshit. I'm like, that, that's real? Like, damn, y'all fucking up hard. But, Nintendo fuck up hard. Um, what about you? What are you gonna like about Nintendo? How fucking backwards the hard. Yeah. Like I said earlier, Nintendo is not the 90s. We don't, give, we don't give a fuck about adults like fucking Nintendo fucking box bullshit or <clears throat> fuck or fucking friend code like why do I need a number to print somebody I can't because it takes you back to back in the day when you like you know you beat that first NES game and they tell you here's your password don't you like that no <laughs> So don't you want to like when you buy NES Classic you want a little short cord it makes you feel like you're sitting at home with your kid right in front of your HD 4K television <laughs> Maki Perry gonna do that like, thanks what the fuck is wrong with y'all <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ but we shit on Nintendo but hey I love Nintendo that is my childhood can't knock them but the nostalgia from the Nintendo is fucking sickening and y'all niggas need to look at yourself and say hey hey these games ain't great. Like, Super Mario Party was not that good. <laughs> like, for real. Some of these games they release, like, they get gang niggas. That's all, that's all me and B was talking, like, when I'm private, my private comedy. Because when we was talking about fucking new Fire Emblem, like, like, man, they might just be making an entry level one just to get niggas in the skirt. Like, you know, they might give you a piece of shit ass game, you know? <laughs> they might, like, you know what? Just give them the bare bones with a Fire Emblem game. Just give them. I uh, just give him three houses and call call him um you know give him a fire name Antidale or some shit you know, <laughs> you know give him a fire name give him some power bullshit um and you know make it 
Wait, how many chapters? Just give them 22 chapters. <laughs> you know, make it, make it, make it super easy because, you know, these are newcomers. We can't just make it super hard. Take away permadeath. We won't even mention permadeath. And, you know, they you can be back. You can be back in characters for $5. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Let me pull some fuck shit like that. Oh, um, triangle weapon? I mean, triangle? Weapon triangle? So it actually have advantage against Nas now. Everybody's even. <laughs> you know? But, um, that's all. But next one is. Xbox. I don't know. Shit to say. <laughs> oh, Xbox. I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you this is all I need to say right here. That's all I need to say. Xbox came out and to be all fancy fancy, they named their system Xbox One. They were making it all in one system. It was all in one. You can hook your, your you know how you can hook your cable box up to, you know, your internet and stuff? Yeah. That's basically what you can do with Xbox One. You can hook your, your, your inner cable, like, Prong shit into the back, you can watch cable through your Xbox One. That's how all in one. They want you to be the all in one system. They don't want you to ever turn the system off. These motherfuckers, later on, they realize they're losing the console war right now with PlayStation. PlayStation dominating, and you know, the Wii U sort of fucked up, so they had to drop a new system called the Switch Nintendo. So they sort of halfway through the sixth generation <laughs> fucking up. So Sony just dominating. So they like, you know what? We're gonna make something called Gamer Pass. So basically, all our first party games, um, you can just play um, for free um, on, the, on Xbox. Like, oh, that's great, that's great, that's great. But also, you can play all Xbox first party games on Windows computers. So basically, eliminate anything you buy on Xbox One. If you're a child or you are thinking about buying an Xbox, don't. Just get a PC. Just get a PC with Windows, Windows 10 on, and you can have Windows 10. And you can play all the Xbox One games only Xbox One. You can't play Assassin's Creed. I mean, you can only play the Xbox One, Xbox games, exclusive Xbox games. Like their party, you know, Gears of War, Halo. You can play those in your Windows PC. And you can play, you are, we all know you can play your Xbox controller onto your PC. So that eliminates all that. So they basically fucked themselves. They shot themselves in their own face. They don't even realize it yet. And they don't even notice that, like, you just made people not want to buy your system, dude. You made a console where you don't want to... And I guess they're just trying to branch out and do more, but... No. Now people just going to buy PlayStation. <laughs> I'll just buy PlayStation, then, nigga. I got a PC at home. Yeah, nigga, all right. You just gave them more money. <laughs> Shit. But... Xbox games, they got... Um, they came out with Xbox, the Xbox 360, Xbox One. That's mostly it. They came in pretty late. They came in like 2001. When the PS2 was out, um, there was a good competition to the PlayStation 2, but they didn't have a fucking bunch of games. They had a bunch of like new BS games, like um, what fucking Breakdown and fucking um, what was that fucking with the animals, the mercenary animal niggas? I don't know. Um, Br- um, brutal Force, <laughs> Brutal Force, Brute Force. Um, they just had to fucking just they they mostly know for Halo. <laughs> like first Xbox it was Halo then 360 it was Gears of War and Halo um, they had a couple of obscure games like Alan Wake and um, Ori and the Blind Forest stuff like that but um, overall like they really don't got like you can't compare that shit to fucking Metal Gear Kingdom Hearts nigga I just named two of the best franchises in gaming history type shit like they don't I mean okay they got Halo and Gears of War but you can't compare that shit to Metal Gear Kingdom Hearts. What was fucking Final Fantasy? Nigga, that's all on song. Nigga, it wasn't no fucking Final Fantasy on Xbox until like when they finally got, I think, 10? No, like Final Fantasy 13. No, no, they got 10. I think they. they I think 10 was on Xbox. Yeah, I think 10 was on Xbox. I think I, I, think I played it on there. But maybe not. It probably wasn't. I don't fucking know. But 13 was the first, like, the games. They, the first one was all the consoles. But. Xbox has got that this bro culture to it because they, they games are all about shooting. Yeah, we're, we're gonna choke some Mountain Dew and shoot some shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's go. Let's let's go, go bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking faggot. <coughs> you fucking rip me in the game, man. You stop ripping me in the game. Man, I fuck you up in real life, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that that's where sort of online shit talk came from as well. <laughs> Because, like, PlayStation didn't have a goddamn online talk. I mean, they had that HDD bullshit for the PS2 peripheral. But that was only more, that was mostly for, like, Final Fantasy, that MMO Final Fantasy on the PS2. Most of it was that. 
type shit to expand the game. But overall, the online talking bullshit started with uh, we know they can do it on PC, but we're talking about for consoles. Consoles, um, Xbox One. That's where it shit started. People talking shit, and that's when I, that's when online really online console gaming really started um, for Xbox Live. I don't. Like it, I never. I don't want to play other niggas. I want to play my friend next to me. <laughs> the fuck, I want to play a stranger who probably cheating. <laughs> so I was like, you cheat, nigga. But oh, right, Xbox is just dumb. It's boring. They they defeated themselves. Um, they can do all the nice things they want to about having backwards compatibility. You can play your Xbox One and 360 on your Xbox X, but no one gives a fuck. No one wants to play fucking Xbox One games. I mean, Xbox. No one wants to play OG Xbox. No one wants to play fucking Halo 1 on the Xbox. <laughs> you know? Like, get out of here. So, they sort of fuck themselves. Um, so, fuck Xbox. I mean, it might sound biased, but fuck them. I mean, don't buy it. Your son and your daughter say buy Tell them, baby, you can play it on your computer. <laughs> don't worry. And if I buy you a Game Pass, you can play all the games for free for a year. Like, so it really, once again, defeat. I don't know what the fuck. Like, what is they giving studios to tell, to do that for real? Like, cause that costs hundred gaming costs hundred, but to make video games it costs hundreds of millions of dollars to make. And you basically tell motherfuckers like, yeah, we'll foot the bill yeah. <clears throat> to have it for free for everybody who has an Xbox. Like, that's a lot of fucking money, but it is. Let me know. Xbox is made by Microsoft. That's basically on nigga. He, he got probably a Microsoft program on his computer right now that we're using. Like everybody, Microsoft is ubiquitous, ubiquitous, ubiquitous to computers. Like you think computers, you think Microsoft. You think Microsoft Word. You don't think about what the fuck Apple got. <laughs> What's Apple's Word typing document shit? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who who knows there? Only thing we know is what Safari. That's yes. all. That's all we know about. That's all we know about Apple. Apple sucks, man. I mean, we can talk about mobile gaming, but I don't consider it a game. So and that's all gotcha game bullshit. So. I'm not talking about it here. Well, that'd be another conversation for another day. Uh, the gotcha game bullshit and mobile. Fake count, fake grand order. Yeah. Fire heroes. But that, that, it, it do be some legit real games on mobile, but this ain't the conversation here. Yeah. The state of video games don't give a fuck about mobile. They and Until they get this predatory, um, uh, all bullshit game shit out of there. They need to clean their shop. When they, once they clean up the Apple Store and the Google Play Store, that's when we can talk. Even though the PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, and the Nintendo Store ain't shit either, but man, it's it's a wild, wild west in the mobile, nigga. Nigga, I can literally make um fucking a knockoff Mario game <laughs> for a dollar, and niggas are buying like no, that's what Flappy Bird was, nigga. I can make a knockoff of the game, man. Get money off the dumb niggas. But I guess if we can go to the next uh, things, uh, PC, I don't give a fuck about Steam or Epic Store, so fuck all them. They right. think they're better because you you can buy all my games, nigga. They they giving you they're they basically making you waste your money on Steam and Epic because you got the paper. They're gonna give you ten games for a dollar, and you never gonna play them. You got like a literally a million backlog catalog of games. You ne- that's what you talk about backlog. You never gonna you you could probably try to finish your backlog if it's reasonable, but if you go on Steam or Epic Store, nigga, you ain't gonna never gonna play. Nigga, you, nigga, that's man, no. You never gonna fucking finish that backlog, nigga. They be giving you literally PS3 games. Fucking, they'll give you the Arkham Knight trilogy for five dollars, like, nigga. Okay, so you go boom play all that, and you still have all the modern games to play. Okay, they give you a fucking shit ton of games to play. You never gonna get to it, no. But Steam is dominating, and that it is the way people wanted to go. It's more easy access to playing games and shit like that. But sometimes convenience ain't good. Sometimes, I, like I said before, just buy the shit if you want it so badly. For real. If you want to play your, uh, want to play an old Die Hack game on the PS2, buy the PS2. Sure. Buy the Die Hack game. I'm telling you, them Die Hack games are easy to buy. They're cheap as fuck. I'm telling you. If you go to garage sales, or you just go to these retro old gaming stores, nigga, they fucking got all this dumb shit. I'm telling you. Don't these niggas fool you and fucking rebuying bullshit. I'm telling you. Unless they remastered for real and it's like, Tweaking some shit they couldn't fix back in 2009 or not 2009, 2001 or 1995 or some shit, you know. Right. What about you? What do you think about PC gaming? Alright. That's so, it. We already know about the ROM hack bullshit. We already talked about that. 
So this this one piece of game to me. Come on, come on, not you, but the the listener. Like we, oh, we talk about that shit. <laughs> piece of gamer, I mean, piece of gaming is for losers who think the hard card because they have a because they got money to spend on computers. Yes, I spent a thousand dollars on a PC, and now I can play my game on my three monitor lap, uh, my three monitor fucking setup. <laughs> Motherfucker would fucking look like a dork with a fucking uh, uh, <laughs> a whole gaming pad set up. Like, god damn, nigga, like, what are you doing? It's the gaming is for money, people. Man, I don't know what the fuck. And makes a bad. What I don't like about PC gaming is like if you missing like a word document or some <laughs> wrong text, nigga, you don't got the right drive or the right graphics card. You fucked. Yo, you some more expensive ass shit for console. That's why I like about console gaming. Just put a fucking disc in and play. For a system, for a PC, you put the disc in. Well, in nowadays, you know, system, you know, disc. You got to do PC. I mean, Steam or Epic Store. You just start that up and oh, doom, you get a doom direct X not on us all. I'm like, what is that? You gotta fucking find out what this shit means and find out through a fucking long form. Oh yeah, they missing this file, guys. Just download this full hack and it'll fix your shit and then me on the dude put a fucking bug to hack everybody credit cards. <laughs> See, that's the downside playing on PC. See, you, you open yourself up to being fucked hard by somebody who's has a trophy horse on your ass. And it's a lot of DR, DRM? Yep. It's a lot of that bullshit. What, 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 what is DRM? Pretty much you gotta have your shit online mm-hmm. to me play it. And that's bullshit. And that's a lot of it's, it's for like copyright protection bullshit, but it, it sort of defeats the purpose of even having having a PC game um, in the future. What the service going to happen? See, people don't know that. That's why I always say buy the shit you love, so you can have the shit, so you don't have to worry about. Oh man, you took this shit bit away. Well, if you had this shit, you wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, it's gonna be more expensive. It's gonna be better in the long run, man. Because best believe, you ain't gonna want to play them goddamn Super Nintendo. Fucking every other day, nigga, you gonna play this shit once in a blue moon. But at least you have this shit saved, stored away, and you never know, nigga. The future might fall, and that might be the most expensive commodity in the world, <laughs> nigga. Because there ain't no more, you know, shit. You know, all we got is you know bullshit. But you know what can still run a Super Nintendo that don't need no Wi-Fi, no nothing. Just plug just and play. Plug and play. You know, see what I mean? See how that comes in the future it helps you. See, motherfuckers don't understand that shit though. But um, but yeah, I don't fucking PC like that. Um, we can go to the next thing. Um, uh, we are, well, we just sort of heard us our love for video games. We already talked about the cost of video games. Um, so, huh? Oh, the state of the union. Look at me. Um, what else should we touch on before we wrap this state of union up? Before um, you know, motherfuckers really hate. <laughs> All right. If any if any gaming nerds are all offended by this, stay in your address. That just means that we touch a nerve deep down that knows true, you don't want to admit it's the truth. Mm-hmm. And just let it be known, guys. If you do want to get a game, because that is my number two passion in the like hobby, the world, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is expensive and but I'm telling you you have some of the best experience in your life, like you you see how I gushed about You see how I mean Ben gushed about Oh we played this game Played that game We remember moments and scenes We probably remember Like I remember When I was a little ass kid In my underwear Playing this game On a Saturday morning Like I, I can remember Days like that Staying up late Playing video games i never forget Playing Kingdom March 2 In Job Corps It was winter time It was snow And it was cold And like I remember just like hunkered, hunkered in my dorm And just playing Kingdom March 2 Beating that ending boss With Riku And fucking Sora Tag team and fucking Zed, no one's in or um, Zimnus. This shit was hard. I'm like, damn, this is cool. And I was how's a guy. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, no, it's another moment from Job Corps. I remember, I never forget, like, um, cause I, like I said, I never played um, a GameCube. Yeah. But the, the, it was a storm upstairs. It was like the gay unit and all the gay people lived there. Yeah, but it was cool that dude, I went gay to my dad. I just went up there because shit, they niggas had weed shit. They smoked some weed shit, buy some weed off these niggas. But, um, Cause I'm not a homophobe. I don't hate on gay people. I'm like, man, you know, just as long as you don't try to fuck with me, boss. all right, you don't touch me, I'm, I'm good. But uh, yeah, we, we smoke weed. We sit back and play Mario Party, whatever on GameCube. And we just, I 
I never forget how like me and my high guy to have Mario Party and the colors were just popping and it was just like it was, it was a great, great time to sit back just playing Mario Party all night. You know, that's back when you play you can play like fifty rounds and shit like that, you know. Shit that lasts hours and shit. But um hell yeah, man, it's just moments like that like you never forget like I never forget like playing Persona Five and beating that and or playing Red Dead like and you just have good moments, good yeah, just, that's a it's a it's just like I said if you walk away from anything, video games, because you probably like you don't understand, video games all about a challenge. When you want anyone playing a video game, is you want to overcome a challenge. Someone want to give you an obstacle, and you're like fuck it, I think I can do it. Some motherfuckers give up and say, hey, I, it was too hard. <laughs> I didn't play anymore. It's no, difficult. like okay, at least you admitted it. But some people be stunned, like they yeah, beat. Yeah, I beat it. Yeah, I beat it. No, oh, nigga, I don't think you did. Do you remember this one bar? No, but who can who can really follow that stupid story? Oh no, don't try to fucking deflect, nigga. Oh, no, what? <laughs> like, oh, I can't. I skip most cutscenes. Oh, well, you need to play the game. Dude. I hate motherfuckers say shit like that. They like, skip the cutscenes in video. Like you know, I'm skipping if you played it before. Like it'd be brand new games, and you're like, yeah, I just want to play the game. Like, wow. You, because I don't know. I respect game uh, how games are made, man. It's a team of people. Like all over the world works on making video games and like they put forth effort in that shit. We got here, you hear motherfuckers say like, Yeah, I don't even live play the game. I don't even listen to the music. I just play a podcast in the back and, and just play the game. Like, what? I can't understand if you grinding or something like that. Yeah. But you doing a game like that? Like, you know someone worked hard on like the or music. Or you, you, you play the game over over you don't even miss any shit. Yeah. But well, you ain't no damn fucking game like that that just came out or you just his first experiencing just because like you feel like you personally feel like you're wasting your life because you playing a video game it's all about not wasting your life playing a game I understand if you're a basement dweller playing a fucking game all day Ten every hours, day man. you know but if you work I don't give a fuck nobody say if you got a job and you work you, no one should fucking question anything you like to do in your spare time shut the fuck up I don't give a fuck what nobody say if you have a job and you fucking work as long as you ain't, you know... Ain't doing some fuck shit. You know, fuck shit, destroying someone's life or some shit, but... No one should chip off anything you do if you fucking pull it in space. If someone's chip off of what you're doing, they got no life. Y'all got no one for the life. Like, yeah. all you get to video games with mom, I work at McDonald's. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm working. Shit. Well, you ain't doing hard enough. You, you can be doing other things than, like, mom, I'm working though. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, you fuck out of here. Um, but I love video games. Um, what about you? I love games. Yeah, games are great. It's it's a, to me it's games is an art form. Mm-hmm. It shows how creative people can be. Yeah, it's art. Yeah, it's gaming art. is art. What do you know? Gaming to, is art. To the, a beautiful story through an interactive medium. And yeah, we just named a bunch of shoot them so shoot and shoot, kill, kill. But we just named fantasy games like we're playing. Characters you would never imagine you're playing, like, like, like the mainstream think gaming is just Grand Theft Auto. Like people, a lot of people think gaming is just oh you just shooting people and you fuck hookers. Like no, no. game is not that game. Uh, you, it's games are here just like we said, visual novels. Mm-hmm. We have games that literally you don't, you, you don't even pick up a fucking gun. You just probably talk to people. Mm-hmm. It's, it's games where you can literally negotiate your way from killing enemies, like. It's other. It's it's so many type of different things and genres. Things to doing video games is crazy, fucking crazy, man. And gaming is just getting better and better today. Like that's why I'm gaming harder than ever, even though I haven't gamed in a long time. Because there was a time where I didn't game for like years. Not because I didn't. I just didn't have a TV or I had a system. I just didn't have the time to put in the work to play the fucking game. But I've been gaming for the past like what two years now, like two or three years. And loved it. Like, man, I've been missing I got so many games I haven't played. Big, big back catalog. Now, I know you got a big ass back catalog. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a big ass back. I, I want to play Butcher 3. Well, what, what's a current game from like the PS4 era that you really want to play? Persona 5. Okay. Okay. Nigga, play it. You got no excuse. Um, it's on a PS3 too. PS3, PS4. Um, yeah, I want to play Witcher 3. I want to play this so badly. The dude's ass a fucking 100 plus fucking. I want, when I have the time, because like I said, you can't fucking. Me personally, I can't play multiple games at once. I can't play um, 
Grand Theft Auto with Spider Man and Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, don't make it that it's, it's like a part of a part of a game. I get I, I get confused with controls. Yeah. Like, I'd be thinking I'm playing that other game. Like, oh fuck, I forgot I'm not playing that game. You know, and that's why I can't really jump. That's why I can't stop a game and play another one. Like, I can't just do that unless I'm just dicking around. Like, oh man, I'm taking out this game just real fast. But, but no. But um, that will wrap up the State of the Union address. For the um, Swarthy Nude Podcast, um, I would like to finish it up with um, a four second commercial for uh, DC Universe. Um, <laughs> but I would like to finish this up with um, saying thank you for listening. Um, if you want to find us, where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a, I got the headphones on, so it's yeah. something louder. Alright. You can find me on Facebook at yukitasnowman.com. I mean, <laughs> you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash yukitasnowman. You can find me on my website at yukitasnowman.com. Twitter at Rechat Yuki. And on Instagram at you keep the snowman 314. And you can find the podcast, Duh, you're listening to it, but <laughs> the motherfuckers will probably this first episode. Um, the Swarthy Nerd podcast is um, uh, it's Swarthy Nerd at Lipson.com. Um, Swarthy Nerd on Twitter. Um, hit us up at the Gmail, Swarthy Nerd at uh, Gmail.com. Take your questions, send us some music, send us some uh, web pages. That would be fucking cool to do that on. Uh, tell us what your favorite games are. Talk about some gaming with us. Um, we want game talking. Um, uh, next up, uh, sneak preview. Next episode is State of Television and Movies. What the fuck on these movies? We can talk about the Oscars, by the way, as well. Um, that just came out. A couple of winners from uh, movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, uh, shit. Um, but yeah, we're gonna talk about a baby. baby. It's gonna be like the state of TV movies. But it's gonna be about Hollywood. Well, what the fuck should we do on Hollywood? But um, stay tuned for that. Man, leading with the Funkadelic. Oh, you can find me at uh, Super Lost Fan on Twitter. Look up Super Lost Fan on Twitter. Um, TV Guru 108. Still nothing. So <laughs> fuck it. Um, but Funkadelic leading us on out. See you guys next Tuesday.